and welcome aboard here to Tally SC Live here. However you may be joining us, thank you for coming aboard here, whether it's on terrestrial radio here in the Tallahassee area at 93.3 Real Talk Radio, or of course on the TLH Soccer Club website, or on TSC's YouTube. Andrew Jupe, Joe Ward, James Ward are going to bring you the action here tonight of a very exciting matchup, the big one. The big kahuna, the cup of cups, the king of cups, pandemonium in the panhandle, the Tallahassee tussle, the capital city coral. Joe Ward, are you juiced here? 850 cup finale. Add it tonight, baby. Ready to go. Yeah, a big game in a lot of ways. Tallahassee, where the result is in the playoffs for the first time in team history. We got an 850 eight cup as well. Oh, this is going to be fun. And we're ready, and we're ready to get this thing off and running. Should be a huge game. Pensacola is going to come in here, still having a playoff chance at the playoffs, but they're going to have to, they're going to play desperate tonight. Here, Tallahassee just needs to play their game. There here, you go. Here and uh, like last week, X's and O's do not can't matter tonight. It's basically come out, you fire the first shot and let them do whatever they need to do after that. Because if you let them fire the first shot, you could be in deep trouble. Absolutely, absolutely. So of course, usually we'd have the field up, but of course we got the camera all protected right now. Of course, Joe, we got uh, some inclement weather coming in here, little rain. So yeah, we... hopefully it's just a little sprinkle, but you know, we gotta keep everything safe, man, to get yeah. that HD broadcast coming on later on to you. So of course, stay tuned for some dope visuals going here. How yep. you may be joining us, or for the radio audience, you're unaffected. Yeah, beautifully good. unaffected is yeah, our 93.3 Real Talk Radio radio audience. With which, if, either if you're in the car or you're at home or you might be out eating and you're listening in, you're not affected by the weather. Yeah, no big deal. Absolutely. Here, in fact, the, the rain kind of just may. Not the temperature, you know, a few degrees. Might make the field condition, playing conditions just a touch better tonight. Absolutely. They got the Heat fans out there here tonight, Joe, with the little spritz and the misters in here that you see, of course, early in football season. So glad uh, the Leon County School staff here can pop out and do some big things. And once again, keeping the boys safe here, as they always do a fantastic job here at the Gene. Gene Cox Stadium, the Coliseum here in the Big Bend of non-collegiate athletics here, Joe, and of course, hosting a fantastic matchup here tonight. Tallahassee SC, your boys, your battle lions against the Pelicans from Pensacola. So you talk about it, you hear it, Joe, the 850 Cup. People may be wondering, what in the world is the 850 it's Cup? It's very simple. Woo. It's the three teams in this league that is in the eight reside in the 850 area code, which yeah, is absolutely. Pensacola, Panama City, and uh, Tallahassee. Of course, they got together, formed a little rivalry here known as the 850 Cup. So everybody plays each other twice, and they get it going. And then whoever has the most points afterwards is your champion. So, of course, uh, your two-time reigning champs here are Pensacola, and we're tied atop the table with them right now. So it's a winner-take-all scenario here for the A50 Cup, Joe, which, as you know, is the biggest, baddest rivalry trophy here in lower league soccer, man. Quite the honor. The trophy is back in the house. It's been some time <laughs> since the trophy was back here at Gene Cox Stadium, but it is in the house, boys. I don't know if you saw it when you're walking in down by the locker rooms. I guess you guys came on the other side of the bleachers uh, here. I think I saw it. But it's in the house, baby, and it is glorious. As we come into tonight... You see, points-wise, Pensacola and Tallahassee are tied at seven points each. So it is a winner-take-all. There you go. Go get it. But but also take a look at the goal differential. That could come back if we, later tonight, if we're in a tie situation. Yep. So that means it. whoever wins the game wins the cup. It's it basically... It comes down to that because True. because go because one's going to have ten and the other's going to have seven. You want the scenarios, Joe? Bam! You ask and you shall receive. Based on the result, you see the gray boxes. If it's TSC win, T 
TSC's a champ. If Pensacola wins, they're the champs. If they're tied, Pensacola wins on a gold differential. Oh, easy. But keep this in mind. You must think bigger picture, and bigger picture is this. What's the bigger picture, Joe? Tallahassee is in prime position to be in the playoffs. Yes, sir. You want to talk about the table? You want a little table Let's talk, Let's go. Joe? Let's go with it. Fire it up, man. Of course. Uh, th this has a caveat, so you give me the table breakdown, and I will jump in because – this table may be different than your table at home, and I'd love to tell you why. Uh, but, Joe, kind of tell me your first impressions here of what you were going to say. Well, what I'm going to simply say is this. As you, as you look at the table, New Orleans has a goal differential of minus eight. They're going to have to go off the table in their final game. Pensacola. Or New Orleans minus six. Minus six. Pensacola is minus ten to Tallahassee on the goal differential and six points to the rear. Oh, okay, you're saying New Orleans is eight behind Tallahassee and Pensacola is ten behind. Okay, uh -huh. not what their goal differential is, what their difference is on Tallahassee. Okay, uh -huh. just making sure so, everybody's following. So, but so basically, what is this? T a result, whether it's a win or a tie, a result clinches it. Plain and simple. And then next week, New Orleans and Pensacola will meet for the fourth and final spot. And who and whoever wins that will be the fourth team in the playoffs with the going to the winner of Southern States and Jacksonville next, who meet each other next week in Hattiesburg, which ought to be one well of a game. There you go. It's kind of a tale of two matches next week, Joe. So you have potentially the eliminator game here between New Orleans and Pensacola, depending on how things go here tonight. And then on the other side, like you said, both those other two teams have clinched first and are that, hosting first top two seeds and so that will be a battle for the overall number one seed and hosting throughout the playoffs if they continue to win on yeah the most likely scenario i'm looking at as i look at the table is tallahassee will go in as a three and they will go to the loser of southern states and jacksonville and we'll talk more about that either as the match wears on or later tonight after the result here and my feeling is so, Tallahassee matches up pretty good with Southern States. A one nothing win here and a two what was it, a two two tie out there in Hattiesburg. They got delayed a day because of severe <laughs> weather. But Jacksonville, you know, I think about that one too. Jacksonville was a one one tie here way back on opening night. Mm -hmm. But then the game out there was two to one. Mm -hmm. So and yes, you gotta Consider some factors about players. Some players may not may may not be here if the two were to meet. But I think Tallahassee on paper matches up with Jacksonville. I wouldn't say great, but reasonably well. Right, you're not fearful. I don't think you're as fearful at, of Jacksonville as in years past. One, Tallahassee's better. Two, Jacksonville's not as good as they were last year. So I think Jacksonville is gettable, right? But I think when it comes down to it, I think the season results have shown and the play has shown, I think matchup-wise on the field, and if you're Tallahassee, you feel a lot better about going against Southern States. You've had their number. Realistically, you should have beaten them twice because they absolutely dominated that second half out in Mississippi, really left two points on the board out there, which would have changed a lot of this. But circling back to the original point of we kind of teased it and then we kind of drew it back. Your table probably has eight matches played for Southern States, and you see the Roots with the ten burger, which means they're in the barn. Joe got some breaking news here today, of course, from let's say some associates out west. Uh, Joe, you know how the rumor mill gets going and how things travel along. Regardless, we were informed that the Roots, for one reason or another, we don't know why, we just know that. They will not be making the trip out to Hattiesburg, so that will go in the book as an official forfeit. Southern States will get the 3-0 win, so that's why you have them back at 20 points, back at the top of the table with the, those three goals on goal differential. They were once again leapfrog Jacksonville, and like we talked about, those two teams next Saturday, in July the 8th, winner take all. It's winner take all. There you go. And, you know, Having been involved in sports like I like I am, you know, the Roots and Southern States did have that big brawl 
<laughs> after the game in Panama City. May or may not that have, may have or affected may not things. Have, have <laughs> but I, I'm kind of one of those guys that feels like you, for whatever reason, you need to play the season out here. And I'm, I'm just that way. I've been I've been in, on staffs. I, in fact, I was on a staff not too long ago that went 0 and 23. I know mm-hmm. it was high school, but here's but it proves I'm about to prove the point. You play out the you play the season and you play it out. Here now, could the roots have let them not to go, fearing that uh, they could have get a repeat of what happened in Panama City? Potentially, it's potential, or some other issue which we will not get into. We're not There's get a into. lot of other I'm, issues I'm that we play, will not I'm touch. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to play with the first. I'm going to play with the first one. Point taken, we're going to move on. But just so you know, that's what's up with the table, and so that affects it. So Tallahassee can go no higher than three, can go no lower than four. And so basically it's just jostling. It will be tough. The easiest method for Tallahassee to drop down to the four spot would be with a loss here tonight and then New Orleans winning. That is the simplest scenario. Um, Or I guess because of the – goal differential would really kind of come into play after that, and then you'd have to make up goals, blah, 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 blah. So that is the simplest way that it could happen. But TSC, good to go. But they're trying to win the cup here, baby, like we talked about here, Joe. And in order to win the cup, they got to win the game, as we talked about. Mm-hmm. They have to take down Pensacola, something they have never done, have never beaten Pensacola, had a number of draws, three draws, been very close, you know, came all the way back, back in 2021, down 3-1 and with 15 minutes to go in the match. And then last year, really, a, uh, let's call it a questionable penalty kick awarded, uh, tied that game up. But realistically, you win the A50 Cup, you go to the playoffs, that's what's been the move here lately. Pensacola's been winning the rivalry series, and that's why you see Pensacola in the playoffs. Tallahassee, an opportunity at home on the weekend Probably your best team ever. An opportunity to take it home. But here's the history. Of course, uh, never beaten Pensacola, like we said, 0, 2, two and 3. three. Okay. So, of course, we had the tie earlier this uh-huh. season. Last time these two teams met in an 8-5-0 Cup final was 2021. And Tallahassee needed to win and get some goal differential. But uh, Pensacola brought the firing squad, and they put it on Tallahassee, Joe. So it's got a similar vibe, a little different feel to it here tonight. But let us not forget that we were kind of in a similar situation just two years ago, and Pensacola came over here and took care of business. And, oh, by the way, they had the guy on their team that uh, was taking care of business, Jabari Hilton. Mm -hmm. Of course, the uh, Jamaican National, he is back with the squad this year after a year off, and he's uh, ready to make some noise. Exactly, and, they're, and you know they're going to come out, and they're going to play desperate. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're going to play desperate. They're going to come out, and they're going to try to set the tone immediately here because they know they got – no one win this game and then win next week against New Orleans. Yep. But they got to make up some goals. They got to go get it, and that's the thing. You can expect probably an open game here. This because Pensacola is going to have to go get it. There's no sitting back and waiting for somebody to get one open. Pensacola, I think, at least to me, what makes sense and what you could visualize is Pensacola going full bore, and that's really going to open up the game. Counterattack, counterattack. You could see an up and down, and at least stylistically, this could be a very exciting soccer match, regardless of your rooting interest, Joe. We could exactly. get a lot of shots and a lot of goals here tonight. I don't think it would be obscene to see another 4-2 or a 4-3 game on the table here. I do not think that would be super obscure. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility, yep. too. But I think the, the best thing for it to happen is to Tallahassee, just like a week ago against Panama City, set the tone immediately. Play your game, you're, and you fire the first shot. Absolutely. Go get it. Don't get let, on the front foot. Don't. Don't let Pensacola set the tone. Absolutely, absolutely. So trying to continue to chase down playoffs. Also, another little subplot here. We talk about historical instances and chasing chasing down history. How about your boy, Stafford Dowling? A chance to set the MPSL scoring mark here for Tallahassee. 
So all time, six goals here in MPSL. Play is the record. He's currently tied with Cousin Sai, of course, from a year ago. But a goal here tonight would put him in sole possession of first place in the all-time TSC single-season MPSL scoring record. Of course, he's got the season-long record because of the two he got versus Swigans earlier in the year, but those, of course, don't count yeah, no to MPSL. Albany's not in this league. There you go. So just a little footnote to watch out for. By the way, Cousin Cy back in the 18, so we could see a little Cousin Cy. Of course, a local fan favorite here, Joe, out here tonight, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. So I know we've been talking a lot about plus. What were you going to say? I feel like you're going to jump in. I remember him from a year ago. That, that, that young man was a player. Absolutely. He could score. Score in bunches. Okay, we talked about it in reference to the table and the playoffs and all those other situations. So let's go a layer deeper, Joe. I know you love the hypotheticals. I know you want to take care of business. So having said that, let's go a little down the road. So we talk about the playoffs. On the left side, you will see what the short-term playoffs would be. That, of course, is your Gulf Coast Conference. I think it's pretty clear what everybody knows the expectations of the playoffs and what are the happenings there, of course, within the conference. The top four teams in the table, which are looking like, and if I had to guess, it would be Jacksonville, Southern States, Tallahassee, New Orleans, as the table sits right now. That's my guess of what the four would be. Anyways, Wednesday the 12th is the semifinal. Higher seeds will host regardless. There's no kind of backdoors. It's pretty easy, pretty simple as far as the conference. We like to keep it simple here in the Gulf Coast Conference. Yeah, we like to keep it simple on this show. Straightforward. There you go. So now if you roll it over. So let's say whoever wins the Gulf Coast Conference, let's follow that arrow over into the South Regionals. So now you go from your conference in the Southeast here in the Gulf Coast, and then you open up to the whole Southeast. So you play, as you know, the Gulf Coast, which would be our representative, Lone Star, which is from Texas. Texas. Sunshine, South Florida. which is South Florida and Middle Florida, kind of that eastern coast and the west as well. And then, of course, you get the Southeast which champions. Is Georgia and the Carolinas. North of us, yeah, Georgia and the Carolinas. So, Sunshine is weird because you'll take the, just the champion. Only the champion makes the regional playoffs. Sunshine is weird. They have no playoffs. They will go off regular season table kind of what they would do in, I guess, like a Champions League kind of situation, right, is the closest mm -hmm. kind of... Uh, That's the closest thing to it. ...thing I can reach, right? So it's just like, hey, we've played the season. We don't need to do playoffs, right? We've taken care of it. So that's what the Sunshine's doing. All these other teams will have... A four-team playoff. Right. So Lone Star and Southeast, they'll do it just like us. So very similar. We understand that. We get that. So where it gets weird is... You won't necessarily have your top team from the regular season in these other conferences making it through. So once we see our three conference champions emerge, because it looks like Naples is running away with the sunshine, which we'll see kind of later on. We've got some numbers and graphics as we go to the south regionals of the playoffs here. But of course, going forward, whatever your four teams are, they are ranked one to four on points per game, points per match, whatever. So just like you would for the regular season table, but you're plucking them from the conferences. So the weird thing is they're doing a condensed format this year. So they're trying to make travel easier for the teams, which I'm always pro making travel uh, easier too. here at these lower levels. So they're going to do a Friday-Saturday semifinal final split here in the South region. So the top-seeded team on points per match, which right now we talk about Naples or Lubbock, are the two favorites to host because right now they are perfect. They are three and O, or sorry, three points per game, which means they have won every single game. Not they're undefeated. They've won every single match. They each have three games to play, but those are your two favorites. So whoever the one seed is will host all the games, even if they're eliminated here in the semifinals. The title game would be at that place, so it could just it could very easily be down at Naples, Florida. Absolutely. So what this is to say is basically, if TSC were to get through, almost assuredly would be on the road because the points per game that TSC has, which if we kind of reference back to the table, you see TSC is about a one five. All these other teams are two plus. So there's no way Tallahassee can get up to that two plus clip. So unless something wild happens in the Lone Star and the Southeast, like the four seed sneaks through, Tallahassee almost assuredly will be hitting the road 
for the playoffs. But, you know, stranger, you keep winning. Stranger things can happen. It could just – they could easily go out to Lubbock, or they could just as easily go to Naples. There you go. And absolutely. So I guess same thing here on the other side. Like if Pensacola gets in and Pensacola goes on a run, they're in a very similar situation that they would be. But just so you know, just so you get the picture, that's how you know what's up. So, of course, that's way down the line that we could see. So let's kind of zoom in more to just our conference. So let's lock down those four teams. This is how we're going to do it. Saturday, Obviously, we talked, told you about the Southern States Roots forfeit, the, so that match will not take place. Technically, that one is final due to the forfeit, but then you look over on the other side, Tallahassee, Pensacola, and then next week, you have your split. You have your potential elimination game between Pensacola at New Orleans, and then your overall for, number one seed, the title. Jacksonville at Southern States. So that will decide here, teams number one, teams number two, teams three, and Teams four. So, Joe, as we look at it, going for you here, I think we have some scenarios of where people can end up. So, like we talked about, Jacksonville Southern States clinched the one and the two. Tallahassee is in, regardless of the result tonight, but it'll be three or four seed. And then you can kind of see everybody else trickle down. Everybody trying to get up to that fourth spot to get above the playoff line. Of course, only the top four going to the playoffs here. The Roots, as you can see, have been eliminated. But that's your situation going here, Joe. And uh, we're going to step out for a quick break here. We should be coming back with the National Anthem soon. And we have a very special video presentation here from the TSC staff. It will get you amped. So you won't want to miss that. Come right on back in just a couple minutes here. 93.3 Real Talk Radio presentation of TSC Live. Andrew Duke, Joe Ward, James Ward, come right on back here. With the action just moments away here from kickoff. And while we have a chance, we want to thank our wonderful 2023 community sponsors for TSC. It couldn't be done without them. Archangel Security Agency, committed to excellence. State license number B3200594, the official security company of Tallahassee Soccer Club. The Southern Group. Ruvos. Corinne Johnson and the Curly Girl Team. Bannerman Landscape. The Concrete Yeti. City of Tallahassee. Marquee Software. Grova Creative. And broadcast partner, Varsity Sports Network Tallahassee. Don't forget the other one, Smitty's Tap House, Michelle Arsenault, Young Actors Theater, DSG, Visit Tallahassee, TOC, Proof Brewing Company, Rabana and Richie, Tally Shack, Envision Credit Union. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, TSC and community partners, like we said, couldn't be done without you. Thank you for your funding and support and partnership for something truly uniquely Tallahassee and truly special. From getting back in the game to getting back to exploring all this life has to offer, our dedicated team is here for you every step of the way. You can trust TOC for all of your orthopedic needs. an issue we approach the issue as one entity our team comes from all types of unique backgrounds in any given session there's probably not an issue that some member of our team isn't involved in when folks in government are interacting with our firm they can always be assured that the individual who's talking with them is pushing the policy that they truly believe 
is the best and right policy. We have such a wide variety of areas of expertise. Rarely do issues fall just in one silo. Having people who can address all the different parts of the problem is a big win. The difference in our firm is we truly are a team. From getting back in the game to getting back to exploring all this life has to offer, our dedicated team is here for you every step of the way. With a patient-centered approach and unparalleled orthopedic and sports medicine care, our team of 70-plus physicians and providers are here to help you live a healthy and active lifestyle. With over 225,000 patient visits a year and servicing North Florida and South Georgia, you can trust TOC for all of your orthopedic needs. And while we have a chance, we want to thank our wonderful 2023 community sponsors for TSC. It couldn't be done without them. Archangel Security Agency, committed to excellence. State license number B3200594, the official security company of Tallahassee Soccer Club. The Southern Group. Ruvos. Corinne Johnson and the Curly Girl Team. Bannerman Landscape. The Concrete Yeti, City of Tallahassee, Marquee Software, Grova Creative, and broadcast partner, Varsity Sports Network Tallahassee. Don't forget the other one, Smitty's Tap House, Michelle Arsenault, Young Actors Theater, DSG, Visit Tallahassee, TOC, Proof Brewing Company, Rabana and Richie, Tally Shack, Envision Credit Union. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, TSC and community partners. Like we said, couldn't be done without you. Thank you for your funding and support and partnership for something truly uniquely Tallahassee and truly. All right, and we're back here from TSC Live, getting ready for kickoff. Of course, starting lineups out here on the field and we're just moments away here from the national anthem so we want to keep you aboard here as they get ready to do that and we've got a very special video presentation just after the national anthem here as you can see just so you know here for tsc number four mark lesher five trey smith six kevin lowe nine alejandro padilla 10 stafford dowling 11 diego azar 12 gaku nishimura 14 trent blake 16 below the process my 22 connor perry 24 mark quadio your starting lineup here for tsc and here as advertised is your national anthem Well done. Absolutely. Jill Ali Raquel Espinal with the national anthem. And I apologize in advance for 
butchering that name. Very special presentation. A little hype video here from TSC. Here comes the heat. In sports, there's always big stakes. It can bring the feeling of happiness or it can bring the feeling of disappointment. But moments like these help define who we are. Every day, training to get better, getting everything down to perfection. The roar of the crowd and the weight of expectation, every save that has been made and every goal that has been scored, it's these moments that bring us together. These moments are what this game is all about. I will stand up. Mistakes, those mistakes are what make us great. Ooh, I tell you what, Joe. If that don't get you fired up, <laughs> nothing will. Go get them, baby. Let's go on, get you some. So there's the full 18. Those are them boys, Joe. Them boys from Tallahassee Soccer Club, led by Coach Joel DeCastri. Who's here. done a fantastic job Absolutely. with this team. Now let's now let's step into the history books. Absolutely. Trying to do a couple things that they have not done. Of course, that's defeat Pensacola, number one. Number two, that's capture the all-elusive, the big one, the game of games, the cup of cups here in lower league soccer. Like we said, the 8-5-0 cup, which is the biggest baddest rivalry trophy here in lower league soccer and of course number three which is the biggest one joe get in the playoffs. get yourself to the national premier soccer league playoffs and of course so many things so much excitement going for you here like we said we told you the starting lineup here for tsc lesher smith low padilla dowling azar nishimura blake Mayalbi, perry and quadio in goal in the pink keeper jersey on the other side. Townsend in net here for Pensacola. Kamara, Boateng, Dos Santos. Lightborn is back. That's going to be a key. We'll talk about that a little later. Lynch, number 11. Hilton, 14. He's the dangerous striker. Number 15, Young. 19, Preston. 20, Andrews. 16, Hickok. The danger man here for Pensacola. Like we talked about at Lightborn. Has not appeared here in many games down the stretch, but anybody who's familiar here with the Gulf Coast Conference, Pensacola is an absolutely, totally different squad when he's in the midfield and, of course, look very, very dangerous. The facilitator, the captain, the energy man, and if they can feed number 15, Jabari Hilton, it's going to be a dangerous night here for TSC. So this is going to be a full-fledged effort. This is a heavyweight battle. Pensacola not going to be limping into this one, Joe. They're going to get the best fight here from Pensacola. Will TSC tonight? TSC going to go white and gold here. It's a sweltery one here in the capital city, the Sunshine State, Joe. So they broke out the white unis, and I think for good reason. You like the combination. Absolutely. The white and gold with the black socks. Pensacola is going to be in all navy blue with the white socks here with the stripedy fronts here for Pensacola. Scoring on the road has been a challenge for the boys in blue. And so we'll see if they have here tonight. Though when they come to Tallahassee, they usually do not have trouble scoring. Of course, the last time that Tallahassee and Pensacola were in an 8-5-0 Cup final match, here in Tallahassee was in 2021. PFC rolling to a 4-2 final, but it was a backdoor second goal for TSC. They led a large portion of that game 4-1. So TSC try to reverse their fates here in the 2023 season. Joe, and while we have a chance, we want to let you know what the table's looking like. So we're going to have the live table going in the bottom right-hand corner to show you if the result ended at the moment, who would be taking home that championship trophy? So, like you know, 
If it's a tie, like we talked about in pregame, Pensacola will take home their third consecutive A5-0 Cup. Great step here by Azar, who's getting the start tonight. Chased down by Stafford Dowling, who, of course, like we said, on the doorstep of TSC's franchise NPSL play record here. One more goal, and he has the most goals in NPSL play in a single season here in the Tallahassee Soccer Club franchise. Dowling been scoring in bunches here as Perry heads this one up. He gets the start here tonight. Settled well by Kevin Lowe. Looks to go over the top. Looks to be a little miscommunication. Trenton Blake and Stafford Dowling up top here. And it looks like we're going with a similar look from what we saw versus the Roots last weekend, Joe. And I say, why not? Uh, same here. You've seen a lot of long passes already tonight, both teams. Yep. So it looks like they're going to throw uh, – Azar here in flux. It looks like he'll do some attacking spurts here. Very versatile is the Argentinian. As this one goes back to Quadio, the Montreal man, who has been absolutely fantastic here for TSC. He's a one-man highlight reel. Able to keep that in one. Azar looking like a long ball. Townsend is 25 yards from goal. Here comes Azar. One times it with the left foot, and it's drifting just out. Oh. Hide the post. He's going to regret that one. I love the adventure, but that dictates that TSC put on the pressure, Joe. That, which is what that's why I see. said you fired the first shot. Don't let Pensacola fire the shot. Ooh, almost caught Pensacola Napping. sleeping there. Fantastic pressure here from TSC. So it looks like they have not lost a step from last week, which in the first 55 minutes looked like a fantastic effort that they were going to run away with. But... Things kind of unraveled in the 70s when the Roots came back strong with two goals in about two and a half minutes, Joe. And it put that game into uh, peril here for TSC. Yeah, but I give the, I give the Roots credit on that. They, they, made the pl they made some plays. Good header there by Padilla, who, of course, was sick last week. But I'm told he's back in healthy. So good to see Ali back in the mix. Good service on the perimeter. Looking for Bilal, who's going by the process these days. Nice little Meg. Here comes my Albie service into the box. And this one's cleared out. And just for point of, record, point of reference, excuse me, Bilal does have a goal on the season. According to MPSL records, they gave his goal to Kevin Lowe out in Southern State. So shout out to Bilal. We uh, gave some wrong facts, but we were going off the official stat gamer sheet that the MPSL has on the website. So just want to shout out Bilal is on the score sheet, Joe. You can't take that away from oh, no, me. No, no, no. It's in it's there in writing. There you go. It's there in writing, so you can't take that from him. No, the official record is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Oh. That's what we're correcting is the official record is incorrect. So, of course, cycling back around here for Pensacola. Andrews on the right side of the formation as we settle in here. Fifth-minute action. You can already see a little back and forth. Looks like the clouds have gone away. Once again, some sunshine, though it is setting. Back behind on the west side of the press box here. Azar with a little punch out, cleared by Pensacola. Look to spring a little counterattack. On the outside and trying to weave through traffic. Yeah, it's Dos Santos here on the wing. Some physical play. Ref says play on. And TSC Padilla swings it out to Mayalbi. You like that. Le refs are letting them play tonight. There you go. As long as they're consistent. Absolutely. Padilla centrally 35 yards from goal. Give it out to Tri Smith, the former Humboldt State man. A couple of those West Coast boys. Humboldt State, Sacramento State. Of course, one of our local guys, Ryan Lesher, here on the right side. His service from the back here. And here comes the youngster. He is a phenom, Joe. Of course, we saw him get his first ever Battle Lion goal. It's Trenton Blake. And he is an exciting player to watch. Absolutely. This one gets served back. Cycled around. Him and Dowling were an absolutely lethal combination last week up top as TSC kind of went a switch up, and it looks like they're back on that three front line, but it looks like they put Azar in the center. I wonder if they're doing it is try to get a service, is maybe him coming back to the ball, looking to serve Stafford and Blake long. We'll see how that impacts play here as Lightborn gets some touches for Pensacola. Back to Lynch. 
And like we said, Lightborn back in the lineup. He's been in and out for the last five or six games. There was an injury and some other obligations. And we know there was, of course, in the Southern States game, he had to take himself out of the starting lineup when they went on the road at Southern States, Joe, so he could coach the team. Because due to uh, travel issues, Coach Dean Logan, the head coach of Pensacola, got hung up. And so Lightborn had to take himself out of the starting lineup and play coach, Joe. Ooh. Just fantastic but, uh, picture of what lower league soccer is in times. Both beautiful and terrible at the same time. And uh, sometimes a little nutsoid. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. So low coming back to this one. Service back to Padilla. And Pensacola up and at it. Like we said, we we're anticipating a exciting game because Pensacola not only needs to get a big result here, but they need to score some goals in order to make up some goal differential. Oh, little great one pass. two with Perry and Azar. Tried to cut through here. Looks like last touch by Pensacola out for a TSC corner. And that's the beautiful game at work, Joe. The Welshman and the Argentinian with a nice little one two connection. So hello to all the viewers who may be turning in from far and wide, whether it's from Wales, Japan, Argentina, New Zealand, Australia. We see you coming in on the weekly Canada for your boys here, the Battle Lions, and great to have you back once again here on TSC Live. Service from Gaku Nishimura, left foot. It is we're looking for Padillo on the back post, and it looks like a Pensacola deflection as Padilla was heading it towards the ground and skipped off the neck of his defender. And uh, we're already starting the field goals are good. Hey, the <laughs> get it going, baby. Yeah, we had a bunch of those last week, and <laughs> there's our first one tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. But Tallahassee, nice set piece here to, looking for the header. Mm -hmm. Going for it again. Kevin Lowe on the far side now. Thompson coming, or Townsend, excuse me, coming way out. Oh, oh Dowling. He tried to bicycle. Got kit. at the helmet. Tried to go for the bike as uh, Azar served him. Love the adventure, Joe. And that's exactly what Stafford Dowling brings to the equation here on the front line. A fearless attacking spirit. And that's what you want in your big time strike. Exactly. The University of Charleston man has been absolutely fantastic as the people are piping off in the chat. We see you. Of course, super fan Carson Schmidt. I've been told we're getting a little uh, halftime uh, input here. We'll see if that holds true. But uh, we see you people. Keep going off, baby. TSC, you know your community club, your 501c3 nonprofit organization for the people, by the people. Of course, our community sponsors, which you'll see on the far side of the field, could not do it without them. There is no big billionaire, millionaire fun in this club. This is the community, and they love their soccer. And you can see the crowd starting to fill in here on the near side. Of course, you never want to sit on that far side because you just get not roasted. This, not, no, you'd be, <laughs> no, you'd be a roasted duck right about now. Uh, yeah, on the aluminum box. So you got everybody far side. They broke 860 tickets last week. And so we're creeping up towards that number. It was a season high. I believe the franchise high is just short of 900. So we were on the doorstep, but a great on a holiday weekend sweltering heat out here in the capital city the people still showing up for their big and battle a little, lines. Bit of a, little bit of a late arriving crowd a little, little bit but uh they had to stop at the food trucks on the way in baby yeah we did see those lines there you know before the game here and there are some big lines you got luigio's burritos down there you got the sugar fix you gotta get that snow cone going man cool yourself off baby service from pensacola coming out of the back long ball and successful by boatang and he's and a speedy, crafty defender here on this left-hand side. And be a Tallahassee throw-in. Here is Perry to get us going. Azar trying to flick onward to Blake. But Pensacola will come up with this one. Young will cycle back around here to Andrews. Service on the ground. There's Lightborn. Nice little touch trying to go over the top. And that's the link-up play we talked about that Lightborn brings to the table. Lesher here defending Preston as he circles back trying to get some service. In the front line for PFC getting back on side, cycled around, found a little gap here, pursued by Stafford Dowling. Here comes Trenton Blake collapsing on it, and PFC will go back to the defending line right about midfield to cycle things around. Good job by the Tallahassee defense. Ooh, a little give and go and some dangerous work over on the far side. Here's Lightborn, the setup man. There's Jabari Hilton. Got to watch him. Good step by Padilla. 
And here comes Kalo to clean it up. Weave in through traffic, fantastically done. We've seen that movie too many times with number 14, Jabari Hitton, getting some rips here. Great close by Padilla in order to take that one out of the equation because he is a dangerous striker of the ball. Not only for Pensacola, but he's one, I'd say, the top two or three in the conference. Tallahassee did a nice job closing on not only when they were right here on the near side, but right there on that kick, too. He looked like he was ready to wind it up, and it was blocked. Here, Tallahassee needs to be doing that all game long. Absolutely, absolutely. And, of course, just as a footnote, they tied 2-2 out in Pensacola early this season. Hilton got both of those goals for Pensacola, Joe. See, that's the, that's the player you've got to key in on. Mm -hmm. And he is dangerous, kind of that 25 or so yard area going forward. I mean, anything inside 35, it seems like it's in Hilton's range. Service out to the perimeter. Look at the process. Track down and cover some ground off his defender. Oh, doubles him back. But he's able to recover is Hickok over there on the right side for Pensacola. And it looks like it'll be a Pelican throw in. So far, it's about what I expected. Both teams taking some shots. Tallahassee's had the better scoring opportunity so far. It'll be a throw in. It'll be one well settled here by Lowe as TSC wins it back. Physical challenge as Lowe goes to the turf. Pursuit here by Nishimura. Spread to the perimeter here. Lynch. Touch on over to Dos Santos. Squares it back. Here comes some pressure by Blake as it goes back to the back line with Boateng and Andrews getting some touches going from right, or excuse me, left to centrally here on the formation. Now all the way back to the wing. Here comes Hilton tracking back. Guarded here by Kevin Lowe as Hilton's going to pull up and the process will dump it out over the touch line in order for the injured Hilton to recover here. So we have a little stoppage of play. Just a reminder down here, we have the live table. If current results hold, Pensacola is your 850 Cup champion. The big one, the big kahuna, the hardware, the trophy in the house tonight will be handed out to one of these two teams, baby. Of course, a season-long contest. High-profile match here. As the crowd piles in, Tallahassee is excited about the A50 Cup final, Joe. This is the best crack they've got at it. This is the best shot. Yes, sir. Of course, getting into the 14th minute here early in this one. Of course, there was supposed to be another game played here this weekend, which would have kicked off at 8.30, but we've been told that the... Florida Roots will not be making the road trip out to Southern States, and therefore the league is ruling it a 3-0 forfeit to Southern States. So the result will count, the goal differential, and points will be distributed. And so that impacts Tallahassee because they will have no shot at getting a home game on Wednesday, even with a wild situation. So they will be a three or a four seed when we start the playoffs on July 12th. So TSC will be hitting the road on that Wednesday, either to Jacksonville or Southern States. I think, I think they, they probably would tell you that they're, if, they, if they're in, it don't matter. Absolutely. Absolutely. They'll get in and then take care of business the other way. Service coming here. Pensacola, a little dangerous positioning inside the 18. Shot on target. Quadio goes to ground to his left. Sprawling effort. Keeps it out of trouble. And Padilla cleans up the rebound. It'll be in for a throw. Now, Pensacola does have a dangerous long throw, so you can treat this as a pseudo corner kick. Lynch can launch it. They got a wild goal against New Orleans off a long throw. Header on frame. That's what we talked about. <laughs> and just to prove your point, long throw in, got a header, goalie on Johnny on the spot. Absolutely. So, of course, able to hit Preston, but Quadio in great positioning. So that is one thing. Pensacola will take advantage, and that is in the scouting report, Joe. So anytime they get inside about 25 yards, that long throw is on the table. As Perry saves this one over here on the far side. The Welshman from Thomas University 
Able to get the nice underlapping run to Azar. The Argentinian tries to give it back to him. Here comes Perry looking for some service. And good step there by Young. Pensacola will dispel this one. So a vulnerable position here for TSC if Pensacola wants to run with it on the counter. But now they get some reinforcements back in front of the ball. And it looks like they're out in front of it. But you had some space over there with Kamara over on the far side if Pensacola wanted to force the issue. But is a terribly sweltering night here in Tallahassee. Heat advisory in effect here by the local weather authorities. So both these teams trying to take it careful. I assume we'll have the water breaks here as TSC is usually very pro water break. Mm -hmm. But of course, both teams must agree on the water break for it to ensue. Long pass. Try to go long ball here to the perimeter. Pursued there by Perry. Last touch by Dos Santos. So be a TSC throw in here on the near side. 0-0 zero, zero. as we get into the 18th minute. You can see live table, bottom right-hand corner. Of course, current results would have PFC winning the cup. Rip from downtown <laughs> off the football upright. So that's out of play. That was about 35 yards from frame about there, 35 Joe. 35 yards, uh, by the way, field goal, no Woo. good. No good. So one for two on the day. We're one for two. Had about a dozen last week. It was wild with the roots. Yeah, about both, both teams about like six on each side. Yeah, six each side. That was going through the uprights. Yep. But that's the wrong game. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But fun to talk about. Absolutely. They've got the right markings on the field, but of course – a lot of hands in the other game. Not so much hands. Not in this one. Well, hopefully not as many hands here. As Lesher on the back line, back to Padilla. Pensacola, a little half pressure here in the defending third here for TSC. An outlet to Myalbi. He's trying to thread it through here to Stafford Dowling. Of course, the front line was absolutely fantastic last week against the Roots. Dowling, Myalbi, Blake, all certified problems for the Roots. Here comes a little carry up here, Lynch and Dos Santos, as Perry will be able to shield it out of play for a TSC throw. Here, 19th minute of action. TSC going left to right here in the white, gold, and black. So on your radio dial, if you're trying to picture it and you've been down here to Gene Cox Stadium, formerly known as Capital Stadium for the old heads with us. Of course, going from the north end zone towards the south end zone. Service over the top, little long ball looking for Blake over here on the right side. And one thing about this formation is it really gives Blake especially, well, the front line as a whole, mm -hmm. as it is very fluid. But Blake especially has a lot of freedom and liberties to move around here in this situation, which is great because he's an energizer bunny. He's got great vision, and he can make plays in tight spaces, Joe. So anytime that he can be involved – in on the challenge or in a sequence here, I think is a positive thing for TSC. Absolutely. This Lightborn working with Lynch here. And you can kind of see, I mean, having watched a couple Pensacola games here recently, just the insertion of Lightborn, and you can see his communication on the field, they look a much more composed squad than they have in weeks past here, Joe. Yep. Yeah, man. They're doing a good job. Doing a good job. They I'm not as desperate as I thought they would be because mm -hmm. they, they got to make up a bunch of goals. Absolutely. Yeah, not only the result, but need goals as well if they're going to jump leapfrog New Orleans. Of course, if Pensacola loses here today, that's it. they are eliminated from the playoffs, and it will be New Orleans, Tallahassee, Southern States, Jacksonville. Not necessarily in that order, but those would be your four teams. Because New Orleans still has a shot at the third positioning as well. But there is no situation that New Orleans and Pensacola will both make the playoffs. Here is we have a goal kick for Townsend over on the far side. Here, a 5 Cup final, baby. Trophy to be handed out here later tonight. As you know, biggest, baddest rivalry trophy, triad rivalry here in lower league soccer couple of the Panhandle boys, and of course your Battle Lions here in the Big Bend. Depending on what part of the state you're from, Joe, I think some people would consider this Panhandle. 
Open to interpretation. I like yeah. the Big Bend, kind of our own I little region. Bend. You know, like, we're in that gap between, you know, there's Jacksonville and Panama City. We do a good job filling that gap there. Yeah, you have, you have Panama City over here. You got Jacksonville over here. We're, we're here in the middle. <laughs> we'll call it Big Bend. There you go. The Florida part of the conference. Service over the top. Long ball from Padilla looking for my Albi in the process. Giving chase here. Secondary ball is going to be won by TSC. Service quickly from Kalo. Hit Stafford Dowling on the switch. And how about the front line doing a complete overlap as Dowling trying to work on the defender far side. And once again, letting him play here. Physical challenge going to be won by Pensacola. Chipped on out here by Andrews. Over to Hilton over on that far side. He's looking to facilitate. Now on up to the front line. Drops it back into the midfield here as Pensacola back on their side of the field. They're defending half, if you will. Pursuit by Blake, and you can see the composure and the class there from Hilton. A couple quick touches to uh -oh. maintain possession. Here comes Padilla. Quadio out of frame. Or excuse me, out of goal, and it looks like Pensacola able to put this one in, and the offside flag stays down, and so it is a goal for Pensacola. They'll take the early advantage here as a silence falls over here at Gene Cox Stadium. As the visitors Hilton take the advantage. Hilton set it up, and he got a step on the Tallahassee defender and kicked it in and made and. Took a shot in far, far side on the left post, so it's one nothing. Absolutely. So you can see your updated live table take Pensacola up to 10 points with a plus five, and it looks like we'll get our official water break here going forward, Joe. As we have a little stoppage, we can kind of break you here as we go into a lull as Pensacola gets the goal here. We have our situations. There we are. So basically, the A50 Cup multiverse here, Joe. These are your results. This is what happens. This is who wins the trophy based on the result here tonight. Obviously, that second category is playing through here as an early concession here by TSC in the 23rd minute. And a lot of time to come back, though. Still plenty of time, plenty of time. You, got, you still got a second half to play also. Absolutely. Absolutely. All players getting water here, which you like to see. But, but of course, uh, Pensacola, the visitors coming in here. Like we said, no strangers to score in here at the Gene. They're used to playing on turf as well, of course, over at Golf Breeze. So that's not a shocker to them either. And just a quick turnabout. Something out of nothing, some quick play. Like you said, jump started by Hilton, boom. All of a sudden, Pensacola on the board and in front. And like we said. This is not what you want to have happen. Yeah. You have to fire the first shot. Well, Tallahassee fired the first shot, but didn't get it. Pensacola took advantage. Absolutely, as they did. And, of course, you know, you talked about – like you say, getting after it, but you can see totally different ball club. And I know our boys from Pensacola, our boys over at Marketable Sports, Johnny and the gang, are tuning in here as they are doing the women's game for the GCPL for Pensacola. But I know they're on the watching field there. And they, they say it all the time, dude. When Lightborn is on the field, this is a totally different ball club. And you can see it. Having seen the last two or three games for Pensacola and how they function, how they operate, and you can see the composure and his communication and his leadership really kind of starring through here. But let's see. For TSC, let's get this back, baby. Here's where we get into the 26th minute. Cade Lowe, Nishimura. Cycled on through here. Trey Smith, the lefty. Back to Alejandro Padilla, who's back, of course, from sickness last week. Understood that he was brutally sick. And so just getting back on the rebound this week. So good to see Ali back at it. But TSC, like they have for much of here, the second half of the season, on the back foot, conceding first, as it is in the 23rd minute here to PFC. So, of course, going to need at least two if they want to take home the 8-5-0 Cup, the big one. 
the Cup of Cups, the Big Kahuna. Of course, the rivalry trophy back in Tallahassee. It's been in Pensacola for quite some time. Hilton from 20. This one sails over the top as the crowd trying to protect the food trucks there. The burrito truck over there, Joe, almost yeah. took a hit. Oh, almost took a header. But uh, good on the crowd there, protecting the burritos here. Luigi's, Luigi's Burritos in the house today, one of TSC's fantastic sponsors. And we don't have the scouts here tonight. Yeah, well, we have some, but not officially in as large numbers as they were for scout night last week. Hilton to take the corner, right-footed out swinger. Is going to go back post, looking for Andrews. He puts it back in play. Lightborn with a touch. Dos Santos also with a touch. Gets headed back in the equation here. Back and forth and ping and pong here. And nice the ball catch. wouldn't touch the ground, Joe. No, the ball didn't touch the ground. Yeah. No, and, uh, by the way, the field goal was no good. Absolutely. No good on the field goal. So one for three on the evening here as Old Fields tries to get the crowd going here once again. The Gene still believes. That is right. The Gene does still believe here. The beautiful Gene Cox Stadium, of course, full-time home to the Battle Lions since 2021, since joining the MPSL. Another great crowd out here tonight. Doesn't look like as much as last week, which official notification was 864. But I think we're uh, six, 700. I'll I could comfortably say about seven, Joe. What I'll go think? with that. I'll go with that, about six, 700. Course, Which on holiday weekend, not bad. Oh, absolutely, for a holiday weekend. Of course, TSC's even got a couple players missing this game because this game was rescheduled. It was intended to be a Wednesday night game, but was able to get back on a Saturday. But, of course, that flows into the holiday weekend. Here comes Myalbi as he goes towards the end line. He's able to save this one, keep it back in play here to Stafford Dowling. And they're going to say back. out of play, but last touch by Pensacola. So to be a was. TSC corner. It was touched by Pensacola as they were going out of bounds. Ooh, interesting developments so the, here. So we're going to get a corner kick, and you look for a some type of set piece, like a head. Like a header, but middle, middle of the pack. So here goes Kalo, service, looking back post. He's got Stafford Dowling, about six yards from goal, and header goes just wide of this near post here for us here on the press box side, the western side of the stadium, if you will. The shady side, Joe. As you can see, the shade cascading onto the field here, covering about, I don't know, maybe 25% of the field. What do you think, Joe? Mm, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Townsend getting ready to get a goal kick going here for Pensacola. 29th minute of action. Service over the top here. Looks like it skips off Dos Santos. So they're going to say off Perry. So it'll be a Pensacola throw in. Uh, that's touched by the Welshman. As Lynch will look to get this one rocking and rolling. Like we said, long throw of the ball. And, Joe, if you have the chance to go back and watch that Pensacola uh, Jesters game, I think it was from his half he threw it, and it skipped down the line. Quadio coming back. A little uh, friendly he, fire on Trey Smith there. And he had to do that. That yep. was a long throw in, mm -hmm. and Pensacola had a – I think it's Hilton. Yep. That was uh, – positioned himself behind – the goalie. Absolutely. Yeah, and he that, was right there. He had to come get it. Mm -hmm. So good on Quadio. Obviously, Trey Smith getting caught in the crossfire, and that's a jaw rattler there. Yeah. But we'll get it going once again here. Trey Smith looks to be bouncing up in his step once again, so great to see the former Humboldt State man. One of the elder statesmen here for TSC, Joe. Of course, still rocking the old 9-to-5 like many of these guys do here on your local soccer team. Great service by Padilla through the middle. Here comes Blake. We talked about the freedom Blake has in this lineup formation coming all the way back to get that one. Nishi Murray, Lowe, Myalbi, Blake, back to Myalbi, back to Lowe, Kalo, and the boys all get in touch. His service over the top, looking for Azar. Puts it on his left foot. As Mayabi drops him off, 25 yards from goal. Rip from Nishimura. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. And he shaves the hair off the near post. 
almost catches great frame. setup. Woo! Tallahassee, great. great setup. Just missed just a little wide right, but they might have had a better one if he goes to the other side. Absolutely good looking shot there by Nishimura. Nishimura had a great shot at it, but I kind of think that the one they were running a bit of a crossing, the one that was going the other way, mine would have had the better shot. Because the goalie was down toward the right crossbar. There you go. Padilla will win the second ball here on to my Albi. Tries to thread it through. Going to be won by Kamara over on the far side. Thought about the switch and keeps it down. Dropped off towards Hilton. Kalo does well to win this one. Back to Dowling. Back to Kalo. Into Blake. He's got my Albi on the near side. Oh, look at the overlap from Connor Perry getting on the horse. Serve the runner, baby. About 20 yards from goal. Now gets into side 10 yards from goal. Perry on the near side off of Lynch, and it'll be out for a TSC throw-in. But beautiful vision, and I love the cross field. Make Pensacola guard the whole thing. Absolutely. And tried to thread through was Kalo. Last touch by Pensacola. He'll save it outside on the touchline. Deflects to Perry. He's about 20 yards from goal, and it looks like it just goes over the touchline here near side. So it'll be a Pensacola throw-in about 18 yards depth-wise. Here for the Pelicans over on this near side here. 32nd minute here from Gene Cox Stadium. A5-0 Cup finale, the big one. A big kahuna, the rivalry trophy here. Getting ready to be handed out in just over an, an hour. hour. Foul on Kalo, and that's typical business here as Young is going to get Tagged up for that one. No cards here as Kalo wants to start quickly. Nishimura looking for some service, but he'll drop it off to Padilla. Padilla thought about the long ball here. Lesher regroups this one. Back to Padilla. He's on the TSC side of the field now. A screamer about three feet off the ground. Kalo gives it to the outside. Perry! A little too high. Tough ball, yeah. High one to handle over here on the near side. So we'll be back to Pensacola on the throw in. And they love those throw, long throws. Indeed they do. Pressure by Dowling. Here comes Andrews with a gamble coming out of the back. Kalo able to get it, see if they can burn Pensacola out of positioning. Dowling, he's got a shot now here from 25. And made Townsend save it. That's on mm -hmm. frame, baby. Yep. You think Dowling caught the pregame? He knows if he gets one. He's in the TSC record books there, Could Joe. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Of course, with the goal, Stafford Dowling would hold the all-time Tallahassee Soccer Club record for goals in conference play in a single season. Header skips off Perry into the TSC bench. Looks like it catches one of the support staff there. And watch out. Long throw on the table here. Lynch flicked on by Dos Santos to Padilla. He heads it back to Smith. Uh -oh. And it's eligible for Quadio to come get it as two headers. He'll throw it out to Mayalbi, his fellow Montreal man. Into Kalo. Looks to spin out of danger, as Kalo does. Is Nishimuri checking back? Over to Lesher. Here to Kalo. Nishimura, 35 yards from goal. He'll drop it back to Trey Smith. Harry Ball handled well by the former Humboldt man. Look at Dowling backing oh, down Andrews job. like a post player. And Blake about 40 yards from goal. This one gets away from him. So an opportunity to counter here for Pensacola, but they'll pull it back. Boateng, Lynch, back to Townsend. A little slow approach as they try to regain their shape. Pressure here from Blake. Long kick. Townsend outside the box. Padilla will dump it outside, and Smith will track this one back. And the lefty will be able to clear over the top. One by Pensacola. Second ball one by TSC. Nishimura down to low. TSC looking to launch here. Azar back to Lesher. They've got Perry on the far side here. If they want him, they go long. One by Lynch. And secondary ball scooped up by Azar. And this is a good sequence here for TSC. They have numbers. Low going centrally. Squares it off to Dowling. Corner of the 18-yard box on the far side. Now cuts it back. Puts it back on his right foot. 15 yards out shot, but is deflected by Andrews. Kamara, Nishimura battling for it. And he'll settle it with his favorite left foot. Into low. 25 yards out. Ripped by Kalo. Through the uprights. 
It's good, but it's not. Not the good, one you good. need. Yeah, true. not the one you need. As K Lo puts that one over the bar, so Lowe's looking for his uh, third goal in conference. Of course, had one in the opener against Jacksonville. And then also had one in the second game on the road at the Roots. So low, of course, falling into more of a facilitator role here as opposed to the last couple, or first couple matches, excuse me. Last scoring back in match day two. Lesher and Nishimura in on that one. It'll be won by TSC. Low, we're able to get the third ball after a couple headers going each way. Threaded through. Beautiful positioning by Blake. He'll try to open up the defense. Overlapping run here. Mayalbi into the 18-yard box. Heels it back to Blake. Corner of the 18. Dowling. 20 yards from goal as he drifts towards the center. Physical play. And this one's held up. Called on Dowling. Downing. Dowling. And it'll be a kick here. 25 yards from goal here for PFC. Eight minutes in stoppage time here to go in the first half. Of course, we got the goal. We have a couple injuries gone down. So I could see three or four minutes here going, Joe. I'll go three. We'll wait for that uh, initial indication here. And it looks like the heat, Joe, is, is holding down our battle lines a little bit. Not looking as spry as they did last week here, which, I mean, you can't blame them. Heat advisory is in effect here in Tallahassee, and it is a gross, humid day in the capital city. Chested down, but Connor Perry takes it away. Azar to the outside. Tried to thread it through. Oh, the deflection gets it to Blake. He's got Dowling on the back post. And yes. Dowling, it wasn't the prettiest, but it's going to put him in the record books. His... Oh, no. They're going to call back. off sides. Oh, no. We're going to have to check out the delayed feed. They They're pull it back. They're going to call off sides. Oh, no. Let's see. Okay, of course, we got our delayed feed here up on uh, Tallahassee Soccer Club YouTube. And so we see the sequence coming through here. Keep an eye on live play here for us. Okay, Dowling. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I think he's off, unfortunately. He's about a half a body length in front of the defender over on that far side. Oof, Dowling almost had his record setting goal. So we'll uh, keep that one on the table for now, Joe. But almost a great equalizer here for TSC. And you can see the intensity pick up a little bit here for Tallahassee. But beautiful sequence and great ball by Blake. Threading it through to the back post off the deflection. Azar involved in the buildup as well. Kalo, mm -hmm. delivery from Lesher. Entry ball into Azar. The Argentinian back to Nishimura, back to Azar. Hounded by the PFC defense, tries to thread it through, looking for Blake. Cleared well by Andrews of Pensacola. Here's Hilton. He tries to get this one out of danger. Stafford turn and rip from 25. And kind of went over the top of that one. You can see the New Zealand national frustrated with himself on that one, the Charleston man. Great idea, just came a little over the top. Said he likes the feel. The small town, but also big city vibes here for Tallahassee. Of course, up in Charleston, West Virginia. A little more going on down here than in West nah, Virginia. Just a wee bit. Especially not, when football season yeah, gets here. Not too keen on the uh, humidity down here, though. Who would be? Which I don't blame him. Who would be? <laughs> Indeed. Long ball coming from Townsend out of the back. Pensacola with the advantage here. And as you can see, bottom right-hand corner, we've got the live table going. If current results hold, PFC will be your now three-time A50 Cup champions. This one is gets poked free and cycled back around. Service from Young all the way back to Townsend. So this is kind of an interesting sequence. Situations like these, Joe. Because I think last week, right, or in better weather, these are situations where instead of this pseudo-press, I think you really force the issue and go after it. But it's kind of a risk-reward situation. Knowing the heat and knowing the wear that's going to put on you, is it worth going after at this juncture? And so you have to kind of conserve yourself knowing that there is so much more soccer to be played. So you have to kind of – it's an interesting mind game, which sometimes works out well, sometimes does not. 
Obviously, that's a uh, really vague however. answer. Service to Dos Santos. He'll get in the box. Dangerous position here for PFC. Trying to put it back on his right foot. Connor Perry goes after it. Slide. Quadio dives back near post. And it'll be out for a goal kick here for TSC. But once again, service coming from the central. Hits the wing and instantly PFC in attacking position. And the Pelicans looking a dangerous side here this evening. Much improved since the last couple weeks. As Padilla threads this one through here to Nishimura. Lesher, Padilla. Four minutes and then added stoppage time upcoming here in the first half. So see if TSC can finish strong, try to get it back level before the halftime break. Threads it through Padilla here looking for Kalo. Taken away by Hilton. To Dos Santos. Back to Hilton. Ishimura's going to have to win this one if he can. And he scoops it back into play. And it'd be a Pensacola corner. And it looks like it got touched there, but they'll say corner kick over and here on Hilton the near side. Hilton one doing the kicking. So, of course, he is a righty, so this will be an in-swinger for the dangerous Hilton. Out in front of the TSC subs. Of course, the remainder of the 18 down there. <laughs> Coincidentally, in the area, push on the back of Quadio, and it looks like that's what the free kick will be here coming out of the back. Some contact on your keeper. I never like to see that. Nope. The man in pink getting knocked around a little bit. But no worse for wear here. This one's collected by Nishimura out of the back here. Lesher, Guadio. Of course, the East Tennessee State man. Back to Lesher, Padilla. Sacramento State. Once again, feeling healthy this week, which we love to see. So good on Ali. As a course in minor league soccer, we are missing a couple of our boys here. Fitzgerald and Bennett Mitchell not in the 18 here. Blake giving pursuit. Tossed down here. Andrews throws Blake into the fence back there on the far side with a heavy shoulder. But they're not going to call that one here. It's going to take a lot to get up. And that's an instance. It's just unfortunate how close the fence is to that goal line. Mm. So you should've, do see that periodically. Should have been a foul. Yeah, but they're not going to give that because it's a penalty kick. For that challenge here, as we see it back on the delay, as he's shielding it, Blake's making a play, and yeah, there was some forearm. It gets tossed in the fence. That's the thing. If that's not in the box, that's going to get called, but, you know. It was outside the box. So you go. So it goes. Not going to waste my breath on... NPSL officiating, Joe. <laughs> Fruitless <laughs> venture, that is. Kalo here on the offensive side of the ball. 45 seconds and change here. Like we said, with the goal and a couple of injuries, could get a couple minutes here, a stoppage. And referee, first conversation looks like the referee's really had out here. Is he talking to Dos Santos on the far side? Maybe a warning. Motion of calm down, Joe. Yeah. Here in the 45th minute. As Azar checking back towards the ball. TSC still a couple minutes. An opportunity to steal one here. Before halftime, would love to get back on level pegging here before jumping to the break. Threads it through here. Trenton Blake, Nishimura, Miyabi. Dowling threads it through. Beautiful buildup. Almost getting to Azar on the front line. Inches away from getting to the Argentinian and he having a free run at goal from about 12 yards out. Squared on off to Perry. Delivery now down to Azar down the line. Looking for some service is the Thomas University man. Back to former Nighthawk Connor Perry over the line. And to be back to Pensacola for a throw in here as we are officially into stoppage time. In the first half. 
So Lynch back here. Once again, he's got the man with the long throw. He's looking to go that way. Dos Santos with the flick on. Perry will intercept this one, but it'll land to Hilton. 65 yards from goal. Tries to get some service out to Kamara. Good defense by the process. Mayalbi. This one gets tracked back. Dowling pokes it free of Hickok over there on that right side. And be a Pensacola throw in. Be careful about the long throw in. There you go. 40 yards from goal here. Referee says back it up. He back says, it up a few yards. Back it up about 10 yards. <laughs> he so. says it's going to be more like 50. There it is. Long throw from Pensacola. Try Smith with the win off Kamara's hand. They play on. Nishimura tries to scoop this one up. Left footed rip. Quadio off the football upright. So PFC, another set play opportunity on a corner. So service coming from here as they approach halftime. Pensacola getting better scoring opportunities now. Mm -hmm. Here's something TFC is going to have to talk about at halftime. Yeah, so Hilton coming from some service here. He's a righty, so this will be an outswinger. Two, four, five guys in the box here. Lightborn just outside. So six guys in the danger area. And they're going to put Preston on Quadio. He's giving him trouble. And Free one in scored. the box. Dunk it in. Dos Santos. Puts it in here in stoppage time and an opportunity for PFC, and they take care of it 2-0 now here in the first half. Largest deficit that TSC has faced since that Southern States game. Oof. That, that was brutal. Absolutely. Set play, and it was right to them. Absolutely. So you update the table. Of course, Pensacola will go plus six on goal differential. TSC will go back to zero on 8.50 cup goal differential. So if current results hold, PFC once again would take the cup. But this, I think, is the biggest spread that TSC's at home as we go to halftime. So go to the break on a somber note here for TSC. So we'll see if the boys can bounce back and get some more energy going and get some fight going for the second half which you know they will Joe but as it stands going to the halftime break a different Pensacola that we've seen from the last couple weeks if you've been following the conference and Lightborn and the boys from out west taking it to Tallahassee right now we will step out for a quick break come right on back and before you know it We'll be ready for half number two here. TSC, though, down a deuce as we go into the breather. Come right on back on the other side. TSC live here, 93.3 Real Talk Radio. And, of course, TallahasseeSoccerClub.com, TLHSoccer.com, and, of course, Tallahassee Soccer Club YouTube. Andrew Duke, Joe Ward, James Ward bringing you the action. Come right on back. And while we have a chance, we want to thank our wonderful 2023 community sponsors, for TSC, it couldn't be done without them. Archangel Security Agency, committed to excellence. State license number B3200594, the official security company of Tallahassee Soccer Club. The Southern Group. Ruvos. Corinne Johnson and the Curly Girl Team. Bannerman Landscape. The Concrete Yeti. City of Tallahassee. Marquee Software, Grova Creative, and broadcast partner, Varsity Sports Network, Tallahassee. Don't forget the other one, Smitty's Tap House, Michelle Arsenault, Young Actors Theater, DSG, Visit Tallahassee, TOC, Proof Brewing Company, Rabana and Ritchie, Tally Mac Shack, Envision Credit Union. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, TSC and community partners. Like we said, couldn't be done without you. Thank you for your funding and support and partnership for something truly uniquely Tallahassee and truly special.
From getting back in the game to getting back to exploring all this life has to offer, our dedicated team is here for you every step of the way. You can trust TOC for all of your orthopedic needs. approach an issue, we approach the issue as one entity. Our team comes from all types of unique backgrounds. In any given session, there's probably not an issue that some member of our team isn't involved in. When folks in government are interacting with our firm, they can always be assured that the individual who's talking with them is pushing the policy that they truly believe is the best and right policy. We have such a wide variety of areas of expertise. Rarely do issues fall just in one silo. Having people who can address all the different parts of the problem is a big win. The difference in our firm is we truly are a team. From getting back in the game to getting back to exploring all this life has to offer, our dedicated team is here for you every step of the way. With a patient-centered approach and unparalleled orthopedic and sports medicine care, our team of 70-plus physicians and providers are here to help you live a healthy and active lifestyle. With over 225,000 patient visits a year and servicing North Florida and South Georgia, you can trust TOC for all of your orthopedic needs. And while we have a chance, we want to thank our wonderful 2023 community sponsors for TSC. It couldn't be done without them. Archangel Security Agency, committed to excellence. State license number B3200594, the official security company of Tallahassee Soccer Club. The Southern Group. Ruvos. Corinne Johnson and the Curly Girl Team. Bannerman Landscape. The Concrete Yeti, City of Tallahassee, Marquis Software, Grova Creative, and broadcast partner Varsity Sports Network Tallahassee. Don't forget the other ones, Smitty's Tap House, Michelle Arsenault, Young Actors Theater, DSG, Visit Tallahassee, TOC, Proof Brewing Company, Rabana and Richie, Tally Mackshack, Envision Credit Union. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, TSC and community partners. Like we said, couldn't be done without you. Thank you for your funding and support and partnership for something truly uniquely Tallahassee and truly special. All right, and welcome back here to the Gene, Gene Cox Stadium, home of your Tallahassee Soccer Club here on TSC Live, both on terrestrial radio here in the Tallahassee area, 93.3 Real Talk Radio. Shout out to John and the gang having us on for the second consecutive season here on local radio. Of course, TLHsoccer.com and, of course, the Tallahassee Soccer Club YouTube page, which you already know, of course. One of those options, if you're somehow hearing this, with us here on the Archangel Security Agency Halftime Report. Halfway home here at the gym. Just to remind you, the Archangel Security, the official security company here of Tallahassee Soccer Club. Of course, a local veteran-owned security guard company serving the greater 
Tallahassee area. You can reach him at 442-288-9172 at archangelagencyfl.com or blast him an email, the old electronic mail, at archangelagency.fl at gmail.com. Archangel Security committed to excellence, and excellence they do as the official security guard company here of TSC. I'm joined by a special guest up here in the booth. Of course, you know the boys, Joe Ward and James Ward, giving you the fantastic camera shots. And, of course, the splendid color commentary up here with your boy Andrew Jupe. But our crowd correspondent, Carson Schmidt, coming aboard with us here. Carson, first of all, I know you're a local guy who loves coming out to all kinds of events here at the Gene what is the atmosphere in the crowd? Because you're out there with the people here this week. Spill us a little of the beans here out in the crowd down there at the Gene. Well, it is great to be here, first of all. Uh, but down there in the Gene, first of all, it is packed. It might be another record. Uh, the attendance is at an all-time high, almost standing room only <laughs> it is hot down there people are sweating but you know what if the players have to run through it then we are happy to be in the stands sweating with them absolutely and of course carson if you're listening to this on the halftime report you can always if you're sweating profusely and you want to cool off i say you roll down to one of tsc's fantastic oh, yeah. community sponsors hit up the sugar fix or i'm sure luigo's burritos and our other sponsors have fantastic items to cool you down and satisfy your hunger and beverage needs as TSC tries to hype you up. Uh, Carson, you were telling us a little bit about before Oof. we brought you in. Uh, tell us a little bit about a sequence down there on the field, a little exchange in the crowd. Yeah. Well, as you know, we are down 2 nil right now. There you go. Um, but uh, the crowd was uh, talking some smack to some of the uh, – the Pensacola players, and after that second goal, one of the Pensacola players said, it's awfully quiet over there. <laughs> and then, you know what, as Tallahassee often does, we don't back down, and we started talking back. There you go. It was appropriate. It was, it was within reason, but we let them know that we are not stopping. We're gonna, I believe we're going to come out here in the second half, score a quick goal, and then we'll say, hey, look who's talking. Where are you at? Where are you at, son? I like that. That's I right. like that. So that's what's up, Carson. Of course, TSC battle back from a 2 nothing deficit before over on the road at Southern States. So, Carson, you said good crowd out here. I don't know if we'll catch the record from last week, but who knows? Maybe some late arrivals. It's a holiday weekend, baby. Anything can happen. But Tallahassee showing up for their boys, Carson. That's the right. city back in their boys, and that's what the important part of it here for the big one. That's right. The big kahuna. The Cup of Cups, the Game of Games, the A50 Cup Final, the Pandemonium here in the Panhandle, the Capital City Quarrel, the Tussle in Tallahassee, oh, yeah. Carson. What else? Man, <laughs> anything you want. Anything you want. But TSC, of course, looking to get their first ever A50 Cup Championship. And they're going to need at least three goals to make it happen. Have to get the full win here today. As we can bring up our little live table. Going here of what the results will be. We had the live table. Joe, I lost it. There it is. Okay, so we can see your bottom right corner. Try to do the live table going for you here today so you can see if results hold. Pensacola, unfortunately, will be your A50 Cup champion. But TSC, we got to protect the gene, and we got to make Pensacola hold them so That's we can right. come out victorious here, Carson. Nobody likes to pack the gene like Tallahassee does, my man. That's right. It's a, it's a blessing to be here. Very happy to be in the crowd with these, these beautiful, beautiful people. Absolutely. Carson, any parting words here for us as you a know, fantastic crowd correspondent here today? Just right now, my mind is all on uh, getting, getting this win. So okay. just don't stop believing. No matter what happens, do not stop, and we can do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Some inspiration, as, the, as was the hype video here pregame, of course. TSC getting you ready for a fantastic conference. So, Carson, our crowd correspondent, thanks so much for coming aboard with us, big dog. And uh, we'll get it going. We'll hand it on back to our, uh, our boy Joe and uh, continue with a little halftime show here. But fantastic. We always love to get the scene here from the crowd, Joe. And what's going on down there? Because we can hear them. You know we got the crowd mic going. But what's the vibe? What's the feel in the stadium? That's what we're trying to do. For the people at home, 
either locally or internationally. I know, shout out to some of the uh, fandom here in town. They're working here tonight, but they're tuning in. And then, of course, our international viewers, whether you're from New Zealand, Australia, Canada, Wales, we know we have viewerships. Japan coming in for you, so thank you for tuning in. And we're trying to root on your boys here as best we can. They're in a little bit of a tough spot right now. But like our boy, our crowd correspondent Carson Schmidt said, Joe, there is still hope. And one of the pillars of the battle line mentality is belief. And another mm -hmm. one is perseverance, baby. They've been down 2 nothing before. Battle back came out strong against Southern States. And we can just hope that they try to go for it because they want to win the trophy, baby. Of course, we know they're in the playoffs, right? Which we can get into here, Joe, for people who didn't catch the pregame. Um, but I guess kind of overlapping thoughts here for the first half. Uh, did you think... So obviously, TSC down 2 nothing on the scoreboard. That, that's inarguable. That's facts. Do you, do you feel like they got outplayed to a 2 nothing scoreline? In some ways, yes, because Tallahassee, I thought, started out, they started out like I thought they would. They okay. They had a couple of good scoring opportunities. Correct. Early. Yes. But it seems like Pensacola is adjusting to the heat better. Okay. Here, and we've kind of slowed down a little bit here. Uh, the second half, they're just going to have to throw caution to the wind and mm -hmm. just go all out. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 there is no tomorrow. They're going to get a, They're going to get a week off. True. They're, they're, this is the last regular season this game. This is the last regular season game, so there's no more games. Mm -hmm. So they got the second half, they got to come out flying. And they got they got the first uh, 20 minutes, second half, I think it's going to be everything here. If they can get a goal immediately within the first few minutes, this is going to get real good in a hurry. But the energy level has got to go up. Yep. Here and it kind of, to be honest, it kind of surprises me a little bit because last week against Florida, the roots, the roots, yep, and the game started an hour earlier and the conditions was similar to tonight. Right, they came out of the box flying mm -hmm. here, and they've had a whole week off. Yep, so they 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 it should be the same deal yeah. tonight. But yeah. it, but it seems like to me, the longer the first half has gone. It seems like Tallahassee has been about a step slow since about the 20-minute mark. Yeah, so they had a chance. So, interesting point, Joe. I agree with you. In some areas, better. Some areas, worse. I don't think they got dominated. I don't think, it's a, as far as the pace of play or the run of play, 2 nothing for Pensacola. Pensacola got a couple good chances, and good on them. They capitalized on those opportunities. You saw TSC. They had the one offside in the 38th minute that looked like Dowling put it in. And then, of course, had a other couple options. You saw Kalo, Dowling, Azar, each getting some rips. But that's the moral of the story, right? Soccer, oftentimes, she can be a cruel mistress, Joe. You can you can play a good game, but if you don't put it in the back of the net, man, you can be going home yeah, sad. They, we've had opportunities, not converted. Hmm, excuse me. Pensacola's had some opportunities, and they ain't taken advantage. There you go. That's the difference in this game. So, I think the first 20 minutes is going to be everything in the second half. Tallahassee has to come out flying. And I think you'll see some changes here at the halftime break. You've got some energy. You've got some players. You've got some high-octane guys. Uh, first couple ones, obviously, you think about Cousin Cy. Of course, he's That's the first name that popped in my head. Absolutely. And then, of course, you've also got uh, Alex Thompson, who's had a fantastic stretch here of the season. He's really getting into form, putting in some big minutes. And, of course, you know, you got some options. So sometimes the flow is off and you just need to change the pace or you need some high-octane guys. And this is uh, something you can force the issue because you got to get it rolling here because you're going to need three. If you want the cup, you need three. Uh -huh. Ties off the table. Two's not going to do it anymore. You need three goals to take home the cup, man. One, one, and I'm looking at the roster. The one guy I wouldn't mind seeing coming in in the second half is 19, Kyle o Otis. He was, he was on the back line last week mm -hmm. and made good decisions with the ball. Oh, yeah. He passing, had a fantastic passing. game last Here, week. I wouldn't mind seeing him come in. Now, not taking anything away from the from who's playing the back line tonight, but Kyle Otis made a couple of plays last week from that same spot mm -hmm. that led to, led to a goal or two. And it looks like we're going to have official substitution. Shout out to Rafael Galea tuning in. Of course, battle line here in 2023. 
off pursuing some academic pursuits here. Always good to have you tuning in, Rafa. He's cheering on his boy, uh, Diego Azar. Of course, it looks like Diego will take a seat here in the second half. And Cousin Cy Fontenot, one of the historic, most dangerous goal scorers in the TSC franchise going much, up. Much less the league. Absolutely. And this will be interesting because I know Ali likes to serve and Nishimura likes to serve. As it looks like, once again, Nishimura has switched cleats here again in halftime as he did last week, Joe. Mm. I love that as they break the huddle here and circle back. And, of course, you can see number 13, Cousin Cy Fontenot back on the field for the Battle Lions. They're going to need an energy spark. They're going to need to get it going. And maybe he is the source that provides the energy. But it looks like the lineup stays the same. Blake, Dowling, Perry, Lowe, Smith, Quadio, Mayalbi, Nishimura, Lesher, and Padilla to round out your starting lineup. We'll look over at Pensacola, see if we can see any changes here. Hilton, Andrews, Boateng, Kamara, Lynch, Lightborn, Townsend still in goal. I'm not seeing any new numbers here or changes for Pensacola, so it looks like we will remain the same. So just the one here for TSC. So, of course, in the National Premier Soccer League, you are allowed the full seven substitutions here, Joe. So if they wanted to empty the bench, they could, which they may need to, depending how the pace of play goes. But of course, we'll see how things develop. It is a hot one. If you're tuning in internationally, it is humid. If it's you're brutal. If your battle line boys have not been communicating with you throughout the season of how nasty it can get here in North Florida, it's one of those. It's one of those evenings, Joe, and you can see it's kind of wearing on TSC a little bit. But as they pursue here, they fight on. The crowd's still in full throat here. Solid crowd. Looks like 700-plus out here tonight. Got 864 last week, and they'll try to muscle on here as we get ready for half number two. And just immediately, Lizzie, we start off. A foul coming here as it's... Cousin Cy Fontenot getting in his first action here in 2023 in the Battle Lion kit. So it's going to be Dowling, Low, and Fontenot giving some pressure. Here comes the process. Myalbi tries to poke it free here of Hickok on the right-hand side. As once again, it looks like no changes here for Pensacola. Tried to square it off. Here comes Blake threading back through, and Lesher will look to clear this one out. And ends up on the right foot here of Stafford Dowling. He's got Cousin Cy, see if they can work in tandem. He's got Myalbi on the trail. And Dowling tries to go to the corner, and Andrews just shields him off of the jump-started attack here. And so to be out for a Pensacola corner here as we start half number two. And already you see the heat energy level in Tallahassee has picked up. Absolutely, which they need, which they absolutely need. As we get the official... Substitution report going here. Gonna be a go kick for Pensacola. Absolutely. Townsend will blast it on out. So, of course, Pensacola in their navy blue striped kits. They'll be going from left to right on your screen slash radio dial. Of course, for those of you tuning in, 93.3 Real Talk Radio. Thanks to John and the gang once again for picking us up here for TSC Live. They get the stripes on the front here, so they'll be going north to south geographically. TSC, of course, is going to be in your white, gold, and black here going left, or excuse me, right to left, a.k.a. south to north. Hilton, Long ball gets to Hilton. He's 25 yards from goal. He's going to be hounded by Mayalbi. Fed on off to Nishimura. This is the danger zone. Get I get a foot in front of Hilton. Padilla hounds him, and he'll cycle through. A little zonal look here as they'll pass Hilton off. Now he's at the corner of the 18, hounded by Connor Perry threaded out to the far side as Pensacola definitely in an attacking situation cleared well here by Myalbi. Over to the left foot of Dowling. He'll look to settle. Pressure from the back. It's going to be taken away here by Pensacola. Here's Hilton. Dangerous area. 20, 25 yards from goal. And they'll cycle it back here. They force the pass to Young over on the perimeter. It's Hickok. Service centrally. Good win by Padilla. Had to have it. Secondary ball won by Lightborn. Third ball won by Badia and cleared by the former Humboldt man, Trey Smith. And there's the long ball. Cousin side giving chase. 
So he'll pull up a little bit. No support here on the pressure. As he'll cycle it back around and now into Kamara. Here comes Kalo. Threads it through to Lightborn. Distribution here to Preston. And Pensacola is doing a good job of using the full field over to Hilton. Right-footed effort. Oh boy. And he's offside. Luckily, offside. offside. My goodness. Well, now we're even in this department. Woof. Tough and angle there. And somehow. He somehow found it. Hilton threaded it through. My goodness. We talked about it. Talked about it, man. What do you want? And physical play going here. And uh, this could be dangerous. A little scuffle here. Quick throw from Mialbe. Has some shenanigans here between Pensacola and TSC. What, what did you expect here from an A5O Cup final? And TSC truly, luckily, not in Avoided, a 3-0 hole, uh, Joe. Avoided a, a real problem. Thanks to the offside flag going up there. Still a tough mountain to climb. TSC going to get into the postseason, but it makes it interesting because I think the predictor in you, Joe, when you look at the table, you probably have Jacksonville Southern Stage 1-2 in that order and then so if you get the three seed i think as a tsc fan you like the southern states matchup better than going over to jacksonville travel wise it's a nightmare right but i think as far as on the field play all things considered they you match like up better with southern states that's true as you can see in the results good rip by kalo here the near side about 30 yards from goal two hands on yeah, his gonna, grabbing and, his forearm we here finally get the holding call yeah so the referee has another conversation. Didn't it take you back here to a little football, a little defensive back on a wide receiver over yeah. here? Kayla couldn't slip free. Two hands grasping his left forearm. Woo. Ooh. You and can't get a little regular football in this now. There you go. So, of course, the referee continue to let them play as they have all night. No cards issued here this evening. As he tells Hilton to back up, give him the 10 yards. Nishimura, 30 yards from goal depth-wise. You've got six battle lines in the area. And you have Trey Smith unmarked on the far side if you want to try to go for it. Service from Nishimura is going back post. And it's going to be flicked through by Andrews. So it'll be a corner kick over on the far side, and the lefty will head out there. Not a bad not a bad play. They so, did have a couple open on the far, on the far end of the line. So great opportunity here. You got a set play. Nishimura's had some fantastic service last couple weeks. A couple weeks ago, he dropped a dime on Padilla's forehead to get them back even. See if we'd look for something similar. Lesher in the area. Secondary ball going to be flipped out over the top. Pressure coming here for Pensacola. Myalbi's going to head it out wide to Blake. He'll try to dump it back into traffic, cleared by Pensacola Long. And Connor Perry will give trace to that one as he tracks back as he was here playing basically free safety on that set play mm. as he let uh, Padilla and Lesher and Trey Smith go up for that free kick. Now he'll kind of track into his normal area in the midfield. Back to the defensive side. Lesher looking for some big service. Blake will flick it onwards. One by Pensacola here. Drop off, looking to fill and cycle around. Pensacola with some good control. Coming in for the challenge. Little friendly fire for TSC. Pensacola trying to break through. Nasty through ball to Dos Santos. Perry will be guarding him on out on the perimeter. Trying to get it back onto his right foot. Perry, reserve defending there. And he does well to chip it up over the top of the goal. But once again, a dangerous sequence. Pensacola, quality chances on the other end there, but TSC doing well. But once again, another set play. No other dangerous area here for Pensacola. That go kick, oh, excuse me, corner kick, far side. Plays it short, goes to Hilton. Everybody's on side, and they'll go back to the 18. Chip on through, and it'll be a good clearance by Dowling. It'll go out to Cousin Sai. He'll try to chest it down and looking to serve. Of course, his second game back in the 18 here. The long-time statesman here for TSC. Of course, been around for quite some time. Prolific goal scorer here for the Battle Lions. Was part of that 
2021 team and the 2022 team. Uh, the team in scoring both seasons. By Albi trying to thread through traffic, cleared by Andrews. Dos Santos will bring it down. Perry does well to make sure that one doesn't turn into a counterattacking opportunity. Service into low here from Lesher. He'll turn through 40 yards from goal. Little give and go with Fontenot. Oh, beautiful chip here from Kalo. Side 20 yards from frame, trying to bring it down. But the old turf monster gets him, and Andrews will blast it over the small away bleachers down into the maintenance corridor oh, gosh. over there behind the far side of grandstands. Corner kick Tallahassee. They got a shot off, but Pensacola player, player blocked it. Absolutely. And so when you get into these crucial junctures, Joe, you know, you look at it, you got 40 minutes left in this game. This is an opportunity here. Use it. It'll be an in-swinger here for the lefty Nishimura. Six battle lines in the box, and then you have Kalo lingering about 20 yards from frame. This one's going back post, Dowling in the area. Gets through everybody, and it'll be out to Pensacola. I believe it's a throw-in over there on that far side. Nope. Or the near side, excuse me. Nope, Go kick. Oh, bring it back for a goal. It looks like it twisted back over the goal line. Good catch there, Joe. As we get into the 55th minute here, Townsend. In no rush to get it rolling. Referee blow with a whistle. He's saying, uh, you, you, you better get going here. Yeah, he gave him a warning. He showed him the, the ghost card there. Next time he blows the whistle, he's going to break out yellow. Townsend in the old highlighter keeper jersey there. Tried to thread it through to Dos Santos. And cleared out here by Perry. Secondary ball win by Pensacola. Collected by Preston and cleared by Trice Smith. On over to Cousins' side. He's got Dowling and Blake. Both sides making runs. Gets it to Dowling here near side. 30 yards from goal. He'll have to pull it back. His size off sides. Long ball over the top. Looking for Nishimura. And ushered out will be for a PFC goal kick. Right idea. They had the right idea to have... A little give and go, mm -hmm. just a little too far on the pass. There you go. As we're heading into the 55th minute. There you go. Of course, Old Fields with the count down here. I don't know if you can hear him faintly <laughs> doing the count from the goal, <laughs> seeing how long did the keeper Townsend's taken. That's some gamesmanship there as we have a player hit the turf over on the far side. I believe it's, no, it's not Dos Santos. It's Preston, number 19 for Pensacola. I feel like Dos Santos has kind of emerged here for Pensacola. Kind of uh, doesn't strike you as a super speedy guy, but he's burned you know, on the perimeter a couple he's times. He's been there. He's creating some problems over there on that left-hand side. Definitely something to peek your eyebrows out for TSC. It's Kalo. Of course, give a little conversation to the ref. As Pensacola gets it started quickly. Dropped on off here. 57th minute. Over to Hilton. Threads it through. Nobody home. Padilla will get it out of danger. Nishimura ushered to Mayalbi to Kalo as he backs it down centrally. And it'll be out for a TSC throw. He'll drop it off quickly to the lefty, Trey Smith. Wisely gives it back to Quadio. No real pressure here from Pensacola as they just try to keep shape. Long ball from Lesher. He's got Fontenot and Blake in the area. This one goes up into, into the visitor stands. There you go. So Perry will bring it back here, about 45 yards from goal. Drops it on back to midfield. So TSC in the defending half now as they're going from right to left on your radio dial. If you're tuning in with us, Padilla looking for some long service, but keeps it on the ground. Able to get it through to Cousin Sai. Head up over to Dowling, 35 yards from goal. Threads it to Mayalbi, overlapping run back to the center. Fontenot with a touch. Dangerous oh. area. Just wide of the post, almost on frame, and Cousin Sai with an opportunity for you there for TSC. Great shot. Just a touch wide. Great ball by my Albi coming in centrally. Love yeah. the love the pass love, love the passing there. Good passing. Absolutely. Good set play by Tallahassee. Just just missed. Maybe 
half a foot at and, least. And that's that's what Miami brings to the table here. Great speed and gets himself into very dangerous positions. And if he can go and either on the take or just by pure speed on the long ball, get down to that end line and then keep it on the ground and put it back against the grain like he did there or a square ball to your center strikers, that's where he's the most dangerous, man. We saw it last week. Was fantastic on it as Kalo gets tripped up around midfield, around the center circle. PFC looking to break pressure here. Service out of the back. Great backtrack by Connor Perry. And it looks like plays held up. Some kind of challenge. Looks like Kalo, Kevin Lowe will officially get a yellow. Did not see the play as it looked like it was a follow through. But doesn't matter if we saw it or not, Joe. Yeah. Kevin Lowe officially in the book here on yellow. As we have a little delayed feed here, maybe we'll be able to see what's up here on the delay. <laughs> uh, looks a little weak, a little follow through. Gets a little scrape of the Pensacola player. Maybe uh, accumulation here as the referee tries to Flex a little bit here in the 59th minute. Service over the top. Long ball looking for DeSantos. One by Perry. And Blake will collect it after the one head ball. Internally, oh, Blake worse. gets rocked over on the far side. That was worse than the one that occurred at midfield. And he's got card out of the pocket. Another one. Yep. So here comes the yellow train in the second half. All aboard. Young picks up yellow for Pensacola. As Blake is still on the ground over on that far side. Right in front of some of the local media there. Looks like Ryan Kelly over on the far side. Mm -hmm. Of course, put out a great little preview of this week's match over on WCTV. Of course, a CBS affiliate here in town. Over there with the cameras and the equipment. Of course, love to see your local media here supporting your battle lines. Thrown on back, back to Padilla. 60th minute and counting. Two-thirds of the way home here at the Gene. So, as the people coming out and packing the Gene here tonight. Good crowd filling in here, but Pensacola, the it's advantage spoiled. right now. Pensacola spoiling the party so far. <laughs> Absolutely. My Albi looking long to down, like a little too much mustard on the old hot dog there. And that'll go back to Townsend. He'll collect. So Fontenot will make him pick it up there. Because, of course, with some energy here, and this is the juncture you think about getting some potential substitutions coming here. Been a grueling game as Blake from 30 thought about it. Dowling puts it on the ground. Tries to square it off to low on the back side. Looking to build out of the back is Pensacola. A little pressure coming here for TSC. Pensacola able to break initially. Getting out of there, defending third. Now right around midfield. Myalbi, good slide. Trying to get it up here up top to Blake. Cleared out from the back by Boatang. It'll be cycled back. Padilla is able to head it back to Quadio after the service from Trice Smith. And so Quadio will be able to pick it up with the old oven mitts there. Padilla to Nishimura with the new boot change, if you saw. He's got the lime green ones here for the second half. Long ball going. Looking for Fontenot. Tried to thread it through to Lightborn. Outside of the right foot. Nicely weighted ball. It's going to catch for Preston. Tries to put it back on his left foot. 62nd minute. Dangerous positioning here for, Tia, or for Pensacola. But they cycle it all the way back. 35 yards out. A rip there. Lesher will get a right foot to it. Myalbi does well to clear it. And Myalbi just schematically having to play a little more defensive than he was. Great class there by Dowling. Gets it on over to Fontenot here in the near side. And it goes out of play. They say last touch by Pensacola. And so it would be a TSC throw. Myalbi quickly into low. He's got Dowling in support. Myalbi also has Fontenot in the area. Below the process tries to go along. And taken down here, they say, no call, go back to a goal kick. Mm. Tried to turn the corner with some heat. Unable to get fully around it here. 63rd minutes. It is starting to get a little late here. Yeah, absolutely. 
Crucial juncture. Got a couple subs warming up. Wallace, Jean-Baptiste, Lemengo, Zuri warming up down there in the north end zone. So I have a throwing over on the far side here for Pensacola. Good win by Lesher. Second ball won by Hilton. 40 yards from goal. He'll drop it off as PFC will go from their attacking half and rock it into their defending half. Way back to Townsend here. He's out of the box. Fontenot give a little pursuit. <laughs> Close Ooh, to clipping got. that one out of the sky there. He Blake's going to flip it through as Fontenot tries to get back on side. Here's Kevin Lowe. Pensacola on the clearance. Andrew's able to dump it out of play, but for some excitement and a good opportunity here for TSC. Throw in back to Perry. Corner of the 18. Puts it on his right foot. Tries to thread through traffic. PFC up to it. Out to Dos Santos. And he'll take a calm, collected approach here for Pensacola in no rush. But here comes some secondary run. Great track back by Dowling. His work rate, as always, has been fantastic tonight. Threads it through to Lowe. Dispossessed. Lightborn gives it off to Camara here for Pensacola. They're on the attack now. Dowling threading back through here. Troy Smith. Preston on the near side here with the ball. Into the corner of the 18. Looking for some service. Left foot tries to bend it for that back corner. And it'll be a goal kick 80. Field goal, by the way, was good. There you go. 67 yards off of... The corner, the top right corner there. So to be out for TSC goal kick, 65th minute. Over to Smith. On the ground of the process. And touch will go back to Pensacola. Smith back to Nishimura. TSC able to regain possession here. Padilla, low. Service over the top, looking for Blake. Blake with a full head of steam, and it looks like it's cleared by Boatang temporarily. Secondary ball falls to Connor Perry. He's had a good work rate as well here tonight. Looking for Nishimura, but it falls to low, and TSC able to regain possession. They've got numbers. Good rip oh. here. Look out from just inside 25. Mayalbi about three, four yards off the upper 90 of the far side there. And that's into the kids' zone. And it looks like we don't have a – well, we have a couple balls coming back from here. And substitution pending. The crowd won in them last week. And the Englishman getting ready to pipe in. That's Alex Thompson. So goal kick here. 66 minutes. Townsend from the back here for Pensacola in his high letter yellow uniform. Mayalbi win the second one. Deflects off Lightborn's back. And Troy Smith will look to control. Oh, yeah, physics got the best of him there. Troy Smith was coming in. He ran into Mayalbi, who and just ran into <laughs> Into uh, number 10. His inertia, yeah, bumped into Lightborn, so Lightborn, that gets yeah. you the foul. So an indirect foul, the old domino foul there, Joe. So this will be thrown out to the near side. Substitution coming. Looks like Alex Thompson, number 17, will be coming in for Connor Perry. So it's a Great Britain for Great Britain swap there as the Englishman comes in for the Welshman. There, Perry, fantastic stuff from Perry. Good to see him healthy. Played a good game, didn't he? Absolutely. He's, he's played a good game. So Thompson's probably going to go to that right outside midfield is where we typically see him. So that's a clean position for position swap there. Trenton Blake pulls it back. Nice little control there on to Kevin Lowe. It's a little five on five. Six on six if they want to run it here. Myalbi threads it through to the perimeter. Stafford Dowling, 18 yards from goal here on the near side. Outside the box. Looks to do a little 1v1 work. Overlapping with Myalbi. We'll give it back to him. The process. Left footed service into Fontenot. Tries to turn the corner with Andrews and unable to do so here with the strong defense from Pensacola. So it'll be a goal kick here for the Pelicans. 67th minute here. And we hear the fans now the yep. down below doing, doing the timer, yep. the timing on the goal kick. I want to continue to remind the referee to keep an eye on that. Townsend's already got the warning. Good win by Myalbi, who win the second ball as well. Push in the back. And he said, uh, referee says no mas. Another warning issued here. I think that one was on Hickok. Mm -hmm. He's not the man with yellow. Young working on yellow here for Pensacola. Kevin Lowe, of course, on our side with yellow as well. 
Padilla with the pressure from Hilton. Threads it through back to Nishimura, to Blake. Good turn from the youngster. Overlap and run here. Thompson on the wing. Threads it through. Kalo is onside. Gets it in the box. Cousin side home. lets it go. Dowling in the area, but Pensacola first to it. Now looking to counter here. It's an odd-numbered rush. If Dos Santos wants to continue to go with it here, it's two on eight, basically. But threads it through to Hilton. It's actually a dangerous positioning. Tries to get it on his right foot. Great support defense by Troy <laughs> Smith. As Hilton able to get a shot off in tight coverage. Tries to thread it through on the long ball. Blake giving secondary chase here. Lightborn, Dowling, give pressure. Now Dos Santos on the other end. Thompson trying to get back and aid the defense. Lesher passes him off here. Hilton cutting on that back line. And he cycles around. It'll be back to Hilton. Ten yards from goal. Watch that right foot. He's going to try to snap back onto it. Here's DeSantos. Hilton playing a little 1-2 game. Back to Kamara. 25 yards from goal. Chips it back. None well. Here comes Myalbi. Full head of steam. A little bit of a heavy touch. will get back to Andrews. And Pensacola will kill the counter quickly. Here is there. Taking home some a little bit of possession and some real estate here on TSC's defending half right now. Yeah. Their defense has been pretty good. 70th minute going here. It gets through. Looking for Hilton. Lesher, fantastic slide. That was going to be a very dangerous spot to have to deal with Hilton one-on-one -on -one for Quadio. Great through ball here from Smith to Dowling. Looking for Blake. Lightborn and PFC able to get back on top of it. This is a rejuvenated PFC team. This is a very different from what we've seen over the last couple weeks. Great ball coming out of the back. Thompson, great service. Cousin side trying to give chase. Now Townsend clears it off the back line. Camara at midfield will head it down, but Troy Smith for TSC back on top of it. Keeps it on the ground. Through ball, hits a battle line. Good turn and control by Kevin Lowe. Service, long ball. Drops back off to Nishimura, back to Dowling. He's got... Mayalbi on the overlap, tries to thread it through to Nishimura. Off PFC, back to him, low. Now tries to avoid Kamara, his defender. Up top to Hilton, who we'll try to buy him a little time, and long ball from the back. Lesher will get it back to Padilla in the center of the park. Back out to Lesher on the right side. Not exactly pretty control, but effective. Blake on the perimeter now. Two men in the TSC box. Beautiful drop off. Thompson almost sneaks it inside the near post. And it'll be cleared by Pensacola. But a good little build up and a quick spurt from TSC. But now Pensacola, a chance to counter. Tries to thread it through to Lynch over there on that far side. Of course, Pensacola still with the advantage here. And 71st minute. Oh, and we got a yellow card. Yellow. And it looks like Thompson. Yes, yep. so officially PA is going to say Thompson, 17 on the far side. Of course, Thompson and Lesh are both in the area there. Great scoring opportunity by Tallahassee. Just ooh, 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 ooh. needed that one because yep. that made it 2-1, to one, and then it's anybody's game. Absolutely. 72nd minute as we cascade in. Here, PFC, of course, in no rush after the issued yellow. Dueling substitutions. Getting ready to come in here. Of course, looks like they'll grab an official water break. But it's Matt Wallace, the pending substitution here for TSC. So, of course, he wants to take a quick clip. As it, of course, is the A50 Cup, baby. Biggest, baddest triad rivalry in lower league soccer. Fantastic rivalry series all season long. Pensacola currently with the advantage. If you see over bottom right corner, we got the live table rolling for you. So if results hold, Pensacola will take the cup once again. So an opportunity for TSC to regroup here, get some energy back, maybe a little re strategize here. Uh huh. Stratization, if you will, Joe. And got, and they. And they they got to throw caution to the wind now. Got to go get it. Absolutely. Here are your scenarios here in the 850 Cup multiverse. Of course, depending on this result, TSC wins, boom. They win the cup. PFC wins, boom. They win the cup. If they tie, Pensacola also wins the cup based on goal differential. You can see all kind of the rationale spread there. 
with the calculations. And for TSC, just looking to get one. Have once before been shut out of home in the previous four matches here in conference. But that was a 0-0 draw. So undefeated here at the Gene this season, Joe. But it's in trouble. Absolutely. Potentially in trouble. One win and three ties here at Gene Cox Stadium. The previous results. 1-1 one, one tie against Jacksonville. A 0-0 zero, zero tie with New Orleans. And then they had, of course, this, yeah, the 0-0 zero, zero with New Orleans. And they had the epic one nothing win over Southern States. Absolutely, had the one nothing win over Southern States. And then, of course, sorry, it's the two wins, two ties. And then, of course, last week, a wild, three late, two win. late dramatic 3-2 win for TSC. So service over the top here for Pensacola. My Albi looks to be the last one to touch, but it's a throw in here. Once again, want to keep an eye on the long throw. So substitutions officially coming into the mix here. It's Iraku, Irkaku, excuse me, number 21 coming in here for Pensacola. And of course, it's Matt Wallace here for TSC. So he'll probably fall in that defensive midfield position. And he comes in for Ryan Lesher, who's number four. So Wallace and Lesher out here for TSC. Long ball over the top, gets to Padilla on the back line. And Lowe will come up and get this one. He'll cycle it out to Alex Thompson, who had just a couple minutes ago an electric shot on goal. Couldn't quite sneak it past Townsend, the keeper for Pensacola. So 75th minute, TSC going a little more direct here in the second half. As this one's down to Dowling. Tried to thread it through here to Mayalbi. So the new substitute, Urkaku, puts it out of play here as Nishimura tries to slide past Andrews, but he shields it out and it'll be a goal kick here for Pensacola. Another substitution coming in for Pensacola. Number 17, Hernandez in. And is that Young that he's taken out? It looks like Preston, number 19, will mm -hmm. take a seat. So his day is done. And then it looks like Irkaku took out Kamara just for a little bookkeeping. So number five done here for Pensacola on the day. Ball takes a bounce, skips through. Thompson does well, but Lightborn tries to dump it back in here. Thompson and Dos Santos having some battles over there on the far side as Wallace tries to jump start over on the perimeter. Thompson, always one in the middle of action, it seems. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alex Thompson, always in the middle of everything. There you go. Surprise substitute, jumping back in. 76 minutes. Going here, throw in. Try Smith first to it there. Tries to thread it through for Fontenot as he tries to back down his defender. Good job off to Blake. Long towering ball over the top. Dowling tries to chest it down. Awkward body positioning. And Hickok puts it way up here. Good catch. That's way up here by us. Yeah. Easy now. Woo. We know our cameraman, James Ward's on alert here, Joe. It has you have to be. Two or three more that rows. That could have hit that, him. That could have been incoming. <laughs> Dowling on the fringe of the attacking third. Through to Blank. Nishimura tries to back heel it to Fontenot. Opportunity here to counter for Pensacola is dangerous. Wallace getting on his horse to get back in defense, as does Mayalbi. You've got Hilton on the far side, so you want to keep an eye on him as he enters the 18. Dropped on off here to Lightborn, 40 yards from goal. Hikaku, 30 yards from goal. Hilton, 20 yards from goal. Dropped on back to Hickok, and PFC will cycle around as they try to square up formation. But controlling possession here and in this sequence. They don't have sequence. to be in a hurry either. And it's late, 78th minute. TSC, remember, needs three to get the cup. Ty does nothing for him. As Quadio, watch this one go out of play. Need a ball back here. They get one back in here, but like you said, 12 minutes and stoppage time, only two go here for your battle alliance. So 
cleared up over the top. Here Fontenot giving some pressure and some chase there. This one tries to get threaded through. Wallace able to clear it out of play. And it'll be a goal kick. Here for Tallahassee as we get into the 79th minute. On the perimeter here to Thompson. Over the top here. And how big would this result be here, Joe, as for Pensacola on their side as they got a matchup with New Orleans. If this holds, not only will they take home the cup, but they'll get a win and end situation going here for Pensacola versus New Orleans. As New Orleans, of course, not playing this weekend. And they got smoked the other night Oof. by Jacksonville. Yeah. Wow. Jacksonville put it on a man early and often 5 0 out there on the first coast. Long ball looking for Mayalbi. We'll go over the end line here, 79th minute. Crucial juncture here for TSC. Got to start getting some goals. No three-pointers, Joe. But need at least one to kind of get things rolling. Ref referee making sure Towns is on top of it. Gives him the whistle to usher things on. Wallace, good win here on the defensive side for TSC. Fontenot able to give it off to Dowling. Low, threads it through, puts it on his right foot, looking for some service. Nishimura, a little control. Mayalbi out on the perimeter, threads it through interiorly. Looking for Fontenot or Nishimura threatening in the area. Mayalbi's done great getting back on defense here tonight. Tall task with Hilton and these other guys on but the here's, attack. Here's a player sprinting open. Hickok with a little leak out. Tried to go back post for Hernandez, the newest substitute, but it'll go out for a TSC corner, luckily, in the 80th minute over on the far side. That would have been damaging. Absolutely. Quick throw in here to Wallace. He gets on top of this one. Of course, the University of Charlotte man. Family man for TSC. Another one of those elder statesmen. One of the captains out here for TSC. Tried to find Kalo. Good win back here on the defensive half. Now, chance to count a beautiful through ball. Oh, oh and they no. say Dallin was picking cherries. He looked good. The line looked good from our perspective. Let's see if we can get it on the delayed feed. Run it back. The old fields doesn't like it. Here, of course, as we go back through the sequence of Pensacola trying to put it back post there. So we're a little, of course, behind. So we'll try to keep up and keep an eye on that as we have our delayed outgoing feed here in the box. It's long service coming from Townsend. As Pensacola, once again, no foot off the gas pedal here, Joe, because they're trying to make up that goal differential. So if they can get our third and fourth, you better believe they're going for it. So here we go. Sequence upcoming with the service. Tough to see. Couldn't see it in our camera shot. But it looked good for our live perspective here, Joe. But don't matter, because that's not what the referees call Back into it, Dowling. Overlapping run here for Fontenot. It's a TSC throw in, mm -hmm. 82nd minute. So just eight minutes. And stoppage time. Right, to go here at the Gene. TSC needs three to take home the cup. Hickok throws the shoulder into Fontenot. Right into his back, so it'll be a TSC throw in. Should be a kick, right? Didn't he call a foul? Looks like throw in. Mm, throw in. Okay, low. Square it on off to Wallace. Woo. That one gets through to Padilla. He's got Thompson on the backside. Nishimura, 25 yards. Great cut by Blake. Tries to put it back to Nishimura on his right foot. Corner kick. Woo. So it doesn't get through. But like you said, Joe will get out for a corner here for TSC. He and got to cash gotta one go. in. Got to cash one in here. Service from Nishimura. In swinger looking for Padilla. The big man, Troy Smith, also in the area. Last touched there 
Corner Five kick there, PFC. down the other side. Looks like off of Boateng's left foot. So now it'll be Kalo, right-footed in swinger upcoming. 83rd minute. Now TSC. Needing three for the cup. Service going back post. Townsend blasts it out with the right hand. Thompson will look to keep it in play. Hilton with a lunge there for Pensacola. Blake will try to take the throw in. Pseudo quickly. Nishimura with a nice little deke there. Service into the box. It's Fontenot. The old turf monster got him. Pensacola's going to dump, and they got an opportunity to do a little dump and chase if they want to over the top. Service over there on the far side. Myalbi all the way far right. Great speed. Great win by Myalbi. Had to have it. Yeah, they were doing that dump and chase, and if he got a shot off, oh, this really could have been bad. Absolutely. So it'll be out for PFC Corner. Of course, they're going to be in no rush as Hilton trots over there to the corner. He's a righty, so it would be an in-swinger if he elects to take it. He's also got DeSantis short, Dos Santos short, if he wants to go with it, which he does. Everybody's on side. They'll try to thread it through to Hilton. Surprised they didn't try to run a little more clock there, Joe. Oh, bounce gets through to Blake. This may be the he, chance. He's got Fontenot. They're going straight line direct with it. Out to the perimeter looking corner of the 18. Andrews clears it. Tried to get the quick throw, but it hit off on one of the posts of the fence. <laughs> Bounce back into play. Uh oh, Pensacola here got a man down. Looks like some crambage service. Nishimura! Header off the football crossbar. It'll be out for a goal kick, but a beautiful chance generated by TSC. And I can tell you. Oh, man, I once can, again, did not get it home, though. And I can tell you for a fact, because I happen to see it, the Pensacola player was not touch. He fell by himself. Now, he could have had a cramp at that moment. I won't, I won't argue that. So we have a little hold up in play with the injured player here for PFC, or the player who went down. Looks to be all right. Bounces back up. And a chance for TSC to get a little water. Looks like they're going to keep the same guys that they have. 86th minute. Is TSC current with their largest deficit that they've encountered at home this season? Of course, this could impact the seeding here. Because, of course, TSC could still drop down to that four line, even though they are safely in the playoffs. Just one over the top here. Wallace goes down to the turf. Try Smith. We'll get this one. Alex Thompson able to regain. Possession here for TSC. Over to Blake. Cycle through back to Thompson. Padilla, close quarters. Underlapping run there by Smith. Tries to go over the top. It's a throw into my Albi. He's had a good game. Indeed. Putting in a lot of work. Getting back on defense to present, prevent some of these breaks. A lot of Gardner Hilton here tonight are chasing him back in transition, which is a big task. Blake threads it through to low, cleared by Andrews. Good header win. Here's Fontenot tracks back. He's got Thompson on the perimeter. Gives it to him. 25 yards from goal. Thompson over to Wallace with some pace. Wallace is able to win this back. The former UC Charlotte man trying to thread through. Gives it to Low, 25 yards from frame. Low goes down. Quadio, 40 yards from goal. Very rarely is old Mark and Mark out. He ain't that far that up. That far from frame, yeah. So Trey Smith looking for some service, it appears. Nice screamer into Low. Over to the top to Fontenot. Nishimura also in the area. It looks like Nishimura is pressing forward a little more than we traditionally see him settle in to that midfield pocket. You know, he's a fantastic server of the ball, but he's definitely taking a much-needed attacking stance here as we get into the waning moments. 88th minute, Dowling, 25 yards from goal. Tried to hit low, gets it back, rip on frame. Townsend on top of it there. Dowling frustrating here. It's been a brutal one here for TSC. We talked about it. Pensacola looks a very different team here 
with Lightborn back in the lineup. Composed, confident, and linking all the lines. And this is one of those ones you wish you had your captain here, Johnny Fitzgerald. Unable to give it a goal, he, go here tonight. It's TSC without Fitzgerald and Mitchell. Of course, key components for TSC for quite some time. So, of course, we wish them safe travels here for the holiday weekend. Going to need them for playoffs, baby. Oh, yeah. Going to need them for the postseason. All hands on deck, baby. Amen. One of my pet sayings when it comes to playoff time, all hands on deck. There you go. 89th minute we will get into here. Throw in, it's going to be flicked on. Hirkaku back to Lightborn. Touch for Hernandez. They try to hit him, the new substitute. It'll be a goal kick here. Squadio is going to go out and get that one himself. Like we said, TSC needing three points to capture the big one, the big kahuna, the 8-5-0 cup. I'm sure they'd take a goal or a result right now. Pensacola, you got to think a huge win. Great little ball from Mayalbi. Gets by his first defender, second one. Great little pool of pace and control there by the Montreal man. And this one, TSC needing some... Speed here, 90th minute. Kalo, right footed in swinger. The big man, Padilla, is going to come up. You got to have the big man in the box. Dowling, look at it go back post. Townsend blasted out of play. It'll be about 20 yards from goal. Townsend going to try to take the throw in quickly. Drops it back to Nishimura. Heads it back to Thompson on the perimeter. Looks to put it on his right foot. Entry service, one by PFC. Controlled by Wallace. 25 yards out, or excuse me, 35 yards out. And Wallace does He'd well. He'd have had it. it. Makes Towns to get off the line. He's still got it. Does Wallace, Joe, as we have a substitution. Of course, this is a little gamesmanship for Pensacola. Honeycutt, number 18, going to come in here for the Pelicans. As we are officially into stoppage time. As of course, he's going to take out Lightborn. Of course, taking his sweet time as he hands off the captain's band. That's about the oldest trick in the book here. <laughs> oh. He's giving some gumption over here to the TSC fans. Yeah, that's not ba always the brightest idea. Back in the world. and forth all game. But PFC controlling, man. Like they say, Joe, to the victor, go the spoils right now. And if results hold, PFC will be your victor. Thompson. Wise decision to clear it out of danger there and not drop it back to Quadio. One of the new substitutes, Benabu. Now number seven in for Pensacola. He's over on that far left-hand side. Try to get a throw in over on the far side. With the new captainship as Lightborn gives it up. Thompson, good win. Tries to thread it through to Kalo. On to the outside here for Hickok. There's Hilton going to work. Good win by Thompson. Deflected out of play. Got to take it quickly and does. Gets it over. Oh, looks like a little collateral damage there. Young's got to be careful. He's already working on yellow. That's Young's second, right? Is 15. So, yeah. That should be a second yellow. We've got, in our notes, already a yellow for Young. And I believe two yellows are supposed to equal red. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Card out of the pocket. He's calling Young back. There it is. Second yellow. So it's a red card. PFC down to 10 men. So the Pelicans... As we'll try to show up here. Boom, PFC, 10 men right now after the double yellow on Young. So we'll get into stoppage time here. Of course, the live table at work. 
And of course, Young taking his sweet time. And that's some good old fashioned gamesmanship, Joe. As long as the game's been going on, people have been doing <laughs> stuff like that, my man. Uh, obviously, some anxiety, some frustration when you're on the back end of that one. But then on the other end here, that's just soccer, baby. So TSC trying to get back into this one. Got an opportunity, free kick. Looks like Trey Smith's going to give it a whirl here from the defensive end as we get into the fourth minute of stoppage time. Got seven, eight battle lines there on that front line. Screamer is going to get to the 18-yard box. Fontenot gets it back to Myalbi. It dumps it back in the middle. Scissor kick will clear it out by Boatang. Troy Smith tries to trap it back in the area just to kill the counterattack because Hilton was threatening. But it'll take a little air out of the ball here. Pass it on back to Hickok. It's PFC trying to hold on. He said, you can see the live table could control by Nishimura. Just a little reminder, Joe. He is nasty. Probably best touch on the team. Mm -hmm. If you're asking me, I'd say it's Nishimura. Tried to cycle back here. Some aggressiveness there from Hernandez. One of the second half substitutes here for Pensacola. Getting into the fifth minute of stoppage time. Back to Quadio, the keeper. Cycled around here. Badia to Myalbi. Tries to thread it through to Kalo. Heavy touch. Hickok. Oh. Yep, going back into the book. Herkaku, one of the substitutes. Another yellow. The yellows have been flying here in the yes, second half, have, Joe. Exactly. Both teams. Unofficially, I have that's the sixth yellow in the second half by our tally. You'd be right. So free kick here for Nishimura. Couldn't be closer to midfield without being on the line. Battle Lions getting numbers forward. See if they can steal one back here, Joe. Looking for that consolation goal. Three on the corner of the 18. Three in the middle, one on the near post. Long ball is going to get all the way through to Townsend. Course in no rush as we get into the sixth minute of stoppage time. Here as we're about two, three minutes deep when Young got his second yellow. So, of course, as you can see, PFC playing with 10 men, but. But when you're up two and only just a minute or a couple minutes le at most left, uh, I don't think it's going to matter. Absolutely. So, of course, TSC, this is the same scoreline we had at the halftime break. It was a 23rd and first half stoppage time goal as Andrews will clear it out, tries to get it out of the park, throw in. Quick hitter to Dowling, and Andrews checks Dowling to the turf. And they'll say goal kick here for Pensacola into the seventh minute of stoppage time. Tries to hurry up. Townsend does the official referee here. And gives it a ride. Trey Smith, good win here on the header. That'll be a PFC throw. A little collateral as Hernandez gets caught. It's a throw in over here on the near side. That's a legal throw. He had one foot on the ground. Doesn't matter. Game's All final. Over. Oh, final here, the season finale. We'll leave a sour taste here for your Battle Lion faithful. Had a great crowd out here tonight. But unfortunately, on the short end of the stick here, Joe. Tough one. Yep. Pensacola, Pensacola played very well. They, de they deserve this one. Absolutely. Had much different team. I thought they would come out and play desperate. They didn't really play desperate. They, 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 they just played better. 
Well, they cash in their chances, and then uh -huh. they were able to control the game in the second half, and then you kind of saw that more composed Pensacola team here in half number two is able to just to control a little possession and wind out the clock. But absolutely, yep, took their chances, cashed them in. You know, it wasn't the barrage that we've seen in years past. You know, the 4-2 game back in 21 was a totally different story. That was a completely PFC-dominated game that they won by two. This, a couple good chances first half, they put it away. The slip up, that second goal, I think, was the brutal one, Joe. Mm -hmm. To have that conceded in stoppage time. An Achilles heel here for TSC over the last couple years. But now they just got to sit back and wait. Yep. That's all they can do. First loss here at home on the 2023 season. And it's on game 10, too. Yeah, game 10 in the conference, 11 on the season when you include the friendly. And they get a round of applause, a fantastic crowd here. TSC gave it a run, not their day today. And I think this is an interesting storyline as you have an invigorated Pensacola going for now a win and end situation. If they beat New Orleans, Pensacola against all odds will be into the playoffs. And they will, and I believe that would put, correct me if I'm wrong, with a tie and a win, they beat New Orleans. They will have 14 points. Tallahassee would have 14 points. The win tonight would put Pensacola at three, Tallahassee at four. Am I correct on this? Hold on, give me one moment. As there you see the trophy presentation. Of course, you don't like to see it. Oh, there it is. Those are for the people out in Pensacola tuning in. Ah, oh, brutal. Third time, Joe. We can't get one. We can't get one. Pensacola, third consecutive season, taking home the A50 Cup trophy. Of course, the biggest, baddest championship trophy. Oh, and look at Coach Joe. Coach Joel, the master motivator. So two levels here. He says, you guys look at this. You know, congratulations. So there's some class there, right? Mm -hmm. Congratulating your 8-5. Deserve it, 8-5-0 Cup champions. They went through the season gauntlet. Best at TSC at home. Did what they needed to do to capture the 8-5-0 Cup trophy. Also motivational tool here. Celebrate. You see Pensacola celebrating. See, remember this. Because he's got to refuel. He's got to gas the truck back up. Playoffs on the way, Joe. New season is born, but you can't let this. You can't sit on this. You have no, off you next think weekend. About this. What's done is done. Yeah. Hey, it's it's all bets are off now. Now the only thing you can do now is you got to sit sit back and watch what happens next week. Absolutely. Here, because it's now New Orleans has twelve points. Pensacola has eleven. They meet next week. Absolutely. So if, Pensacola would have to win, but they control their own destiny once again. They needed some help. They got some help. Jacksonville bailed them out a little bit, <laughs> and, and, and now they're in a scenario to get in. And if New Orleans, if New Orleans beats Pensacola next week, then New Orleans becomes the three. Tallahassee would go to the four. Yep. If it's a tie, Tallahassee would stay at the three. Yeah. So let's get the kind of those uh, scenarios going for you here, as you can kind of see, like you talked about. You said New Orleans right now is going to be in fourth. And so, of course, they can still hold on to that, not only, but like you said, Pensacola is still eligible to jump up in here, as you can see, based on the result, Jacksonville winning earlier this week, and, of course, the uh, Southern States getting through there, able to get through, bam, 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 they'll be your hosting then on down the line. You see Tallahassee clinch a playoff berth, so who's going to be? New Orleans or Pensacola? A tie takes uh, New Orleans. Uh, a Pensacola win takes then, Pensacola. Yep. Yeah, if New Orleans wins, New Orleans becomes the three. Tallahassee would be the four. Yep. Um, because on points, because New Orleans would have 15. Tallahassee has 14. Pensacola would win. It goes 14. It would be 14-14. Mm. And if I am not mistaken, with the head-to-head, -head, the win tonight, we give Pensacola the three. 
and yep. you, on head to head. And then you go down the line. Uh huh. Go on down the line. But you can see kind of your range is there. So it all comes down to it. We had the schedule going on for you. It's going to be basically the playoff battle. Who wants in? Pensacola at New Orleans. And then, of course, battle for the number one seat. And you're going to have to be the biggest fan for a tie in your life. <laughs> Because otherwise, you're going to be the four seed, and then you're going to go play the winner of Southern States in Jacksonville. Absolutely. And if it's Jacksonville, it's like, oh, boy, they're rolling. Yep. But the game's over there, and Tallahassee has proven they can play with them. A 1-1 tie here, a 2-1 game over there. Mm -hmm. So, you, you, it's, you throw, like I said, playoffs, anything's possible. All bets are off now. Absolutely. So, but head tip your hat to Pensacola tonight. They played very well. Cash in the chest. Like we said, I mean, and you can see the key. The only noticeable difference is Lightborn back in the lineup, which is how that flushes out everything. You saw how well their lines connected here coming back from the defensive in their buildup. You saw the service, and it also frees up Hilton because now Hilton doesn't have to burden that responsibility here of doing it and doing all the heavy lifting. And then on the other side, you think about it, obviously – TSC's captain, you talk about the importance of having... Not having Bennett Mitchell and... And Johnny Fitzgerald. Johnny so you Fitzgerald talked about the importance of having Lightbourne, contrarily, without Fitzgerald in the picture here, a similar aspect here for TSC mm -hmm. at times, you know, a little disjointed between the lines. But, but like I mentioned in the pregame, it's next man up. There you go. Got to make it happen. There's Got to be able to take care of business here and do what you need to do. So you look going forward here, Pensacola, we talked about it. And so potentially all this stuff at the bottom half, where we know they're facing New Orleans next Saturday, having to travel over there. Here are the Pelicans. And then if they're able to get in, we know it's a Wednesday-Saturday split here within the conference. And then whoever emerges as our conference champion will go to the South Regional Semifinal, which will be with the other conferences, the Sunshine Conference, the Lone Star Conference, and the Southeastern Conference here make and you up hope it's our South Naples. region. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's looking like the road is going to go through Naples or Lubbock, uh, depending on who emerges and if they finish, because they're both averaging three points per match right now. So they're currently tied for hosting throughout the South region. Obviously, they have to finish out the regular season. They each have three matches. But if you want to plan down the road, Whoever is in the conference, keep an eye on Lubbock, keep an eye on Naples here, unless something crazy happens in that Lone Star Conference tournament. But uh, I'm telling you, man, was able to catch a little Lubbock, a couple of their games, brief moments here. They're mean out there. They're mean, and they get a monster crowd here. So if you got to go out there, that's a hostile environment. And They're consistently averaging 3,500-plus out in Lubbock. And it's 15 hours. 17. 17. From Tallahassee. From Tallahassee to Lubbock, it's right. like 17 hours. That's brutal. Yeah, absolutely. So, obviously, same schedule. Pensacola, or excuse me, uh, TSC's done their regular season. So, TSC in the barn, 14 points, 1.4 points per match will be the final sitting here. It will be enough, as we said, to get into the playoffs. But, unfortunately, PFC getting the cup. And now, PFC an opportunity to go forward and leapfrog TSC if things cooperate. So, like you said, same schedule, the weekend off, but then a Wednesday. Potentially, if you get to the weekend, you get to play for the championship game, but it looks like the road is running through either Jacksonville or, or Southern, Southern States. States. And if I had to guess, I'd say Jacksonville. I would too. But the interesting thing is, so Pensacola, if they sneak in, they get the fourth, right? Uh-huh. The way that they're playing, if they pull an upset and TSC has the all-important three seed, we'll be right back here mm. at Gene Cox, potentially here for the championship game if they get by for their road game. But, of course, much, next weekend. much, much, much to go down the road there. Of course, we had it piled up. Of course, we got news that the Roots were not making the trip, as you can see, kind of that second line, just a league update, right, as we mm -hmm. kind of get into, as we're kind of, Heading towards putting a bow on things. Forfeited match. Southern States will get the 3-0 forfeit win. So that will go into their points. That will go into their goal differential. So that's why you see here on the table. It's, this isn't updated, of course. It has not factored in. So PFC will be, of course, minus six 
in goal differential and have 11 points. TSC, of course, will be back to dead zero at 14. So within striking distance now. So both New Orleans and Pensacola, negative six there. But um, you and can see that. And winner take all next Saturday night out yonder. Right. So absolutely. As you talk about Jacksonville and Southern States as far as the hosting no, duties. Uh, yeah, Jacksonville, Southern States. Right. Winner gets the one. Loser gets the two. Pensacola and New Orleans now is a winner take all. Right. And then, of course, we reference it. So we'll just kind of throw it back into the mix. This is probably where your south region is running through. Of course, in the Sunshine Conference, they do not do a postseason tournament. They will take your regular season champion. So if Naples can do what they've been doing all season, and that's winning and just winning some more, they have three regular season matches. So I think they have to go around the horn one more time, play Miami Beach, play Global, and play Miami Dutch one more time each to get them to that 10-game threshold and they will finish out the regular season. But if they can do that undefeated, if Lubbock falls at all, even if they just tie a game, they would get the hosting duties because Lubbock's also got to go through into a conference tournament. So they've got their three regular season games. Of course, they've got one tonight and then two more. But then they'll have to, have to play two more games that Naples will not be playing. Mm -hmm. Like we said, difference for Tallahassee, obviously tertiary issues, right? You know, get into playoffs. You got to take care of business twice. But then, you know, you start to look down the line. You start to believe a little bit here, Joe. Obviously, some regrouping to do. You would much rather take a six-hour trip to Naples than that 17-hour Oregon Trail-esque journey out to Lubbock. But, of course, to be determined. So check out MPSL website. It's got all the playoff information, all that good stuff. We'll try to keep you updated here, of course, as we go forward. Any final thoughts, Joe? Just tip your hat to Pensacola. Job well done tonight. Tallahassee just got to go back and regroup. But now we get to sit back and just wait. And they're going to get a week off here. And one of the things they'll work on is the start of the game here. Because, uh, like I said, last week, similar conditions. An hour earlier, they came out of the box flying. Tonight, mm -hmm. they didn't do that. Mm hmm but Pensacola had a lot to do with it. Absolutely. So, it's all said and done. We'll see. Uh, prediction for next weekend. Do you like Pensacola or do you like New Orleans? Or are you thinking Ty? Well, I didn't get to see the game here between New Orleans and Tallahassee, and it was a tie out there. Between Tallahassee and, and – are you talking about New Orleans, Pensacola? New Orleans, Pensacola. Yeah, they tied 1-1 yeah. in Pensacola just, I think, last week yeah. they played. I didn't see the New Orleans game. Two weeks ago. I didn't see the New Orleans game here. Right. The one where Tallahassee had a 40 advantage for – one man advantage for 40 minutes yeah. and then convert. And I still think that could come back and haunt them. As it is, that it is. Here, uh, I'm going to go – I'm going to go Pensacola. Yeah. For what I saw tonight, mm -hmm. I'm going to go Pensacola here because uh, New Orleans, I think, might be still in a state of shock after what Jacksonville <laughs> did to them. <laughs> Maybe so. Who knows? Who knows? But like we said, that is to be determined. That'll be some fun conference stuff. But Pensacola are your 8 5 0 Cup champions. A little three peat for the Pelicans. TSC on the outside looking in once again of the big, baddest. Biggest, wildest ride here in lower league soccer when it comes to the tryout of rivalries between your 850 area code teams. Fun ride, man. Another crack again at 2023. Still that secondary season to look after, like we said. Playoffs coming July 12th and July 15th, of course. We'll know all the matchups by end of day. Well, I say we will know. Pending weather delays, right? Because you know how those things go out in southern states. Jacksonville might have to spend the night and play on Sunday like TSC did. But we should know by the end of next weekend, Sunday at the latest, hopefully, what the playoff schedule is. TSC's hitting the road on Wednesday. If they win, you never know what's going to happen here for the weekend. Uh, but that should just about do it as we go ahead and wrap up the Archangel Security Agency post-match report. Here from beautiful Gene Cox Stadium in the capital city, the Sunshine State. Of course, 
the official security agency of Tallahassee Soccer Club, local veteran-owned security guard company serving the greater Tallahassee area, armed and unarmed services, uniform, plain clothes, whatever you want for your security needs, can do evaluation, fire watch services, of course, going out of town, want somebody to keep an eye on some things. You know what you should do? Hit up our buddies at Archangel Security Agency, state license B3200594. They've done a fantastic job running security here for TSC all season long. Why not have them do it for you? 442-288-9172. <laughs> you can get a hold of them, Archangel Security Agency. Of course, also available online, Archangel Agency FL, like the state of Florida.com, or give them an email archangelagency.fl at gmail.com. Archangel Security committed to excellence. TSC falling to Pensacola by a count of 0 to 2. As you can see, any last thoughts, Joe? Or are we about to get on out of here? We're uh, going to get on out of here. Yep. All right. Playoffs next Wednesday. Enjoy the break. Hope you have a good holiday weekend with a fourth coming up on Tuesday. Be safe out there. Don't <laughs> blow any of your extremities off or anything like that. <laughs> I'll be working. Absolutely. And so that is all here from Gene Cox Stadium. Andrew Jupe, Joe Ward, James Ward, Carson Schmidt. We need the action here today. Thanks for tuning in with us near, far, Around the city, and everywhere. around the world, around the conference, however you may be doing so, appreciate it thoroughly. Of course, have a great rest of your weekend, like we said. Take care. We're out of here.